football talk. That's why we started late. Is Baron saying crazy stuff about the NFL? Saying crazy stuff about my Niners. Uh, uh, Shakira was pretty hot at the halftime show. VC talking about Shakira's butt. Well, the NFL, dancing specifically. The NFL is over. It's XFL time. I'm actually yeah. excited for the XFL. XFL. Vince McMahon. Ah, I don't trust it. Vince McMahon ain't got nothing to do with it. He's not the uh, commissioner. He- Oliver he's, Luck is the commissioner, buddy. Listen, he's putting his whole hands into it from what I've heard. He's he putting his whole hand his into that. money into it, and that is that. I have to be more than that. All right. Well, I mean, so, I haven't even seen any start, promotion man. of Vince McMahon. Like, in, like all like if you follow him on Twitter, I haven't seen a single thing of Vince McMahon, you know? Because Vince oh, McMahon no, is he, not he involved tweeting a lot in the operation. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. I, I've been looking up at all the, like, all the stuff about it. You can look it up. I'm telling you firsthand from the information I know for a fact. <laughs> but you all can right. look up whatever right. you want. I'm telling you. Right. Right. Here's the thing that, right. thing not into the day to day operations. Here's the thing that I'll tell you. He's the XFL. owner and he, he has all, he puts all the bills, but he's not into the day to day operations. All, yeah, all the bills, all the bills. Who, who that, makes the decisions for most uh, companies? The, Oliver Luck people makes the the t- well, the People teams. make the money and spend the money on them. Well, Same I mean, thing. If, but if you look at what they're doing, though, VC, like what is out of like with the XFL from the very beginning, you knew that there was issues. I mean, they were encouraging players to date. You know, yep. the cheerleaders, like they're doing all that. Like they don't have that this time around. Like they're doing it the right way, I think. They're doing it the right way. They're they're definitely taking a more conservative approach. To, yeah. You know, but I mean, I can see why you're skeptical though. But um, yeah. And, and heck, when I tried to go try out, I mean, I remember, you know, I was looking at going into it. Like they did it the right way, man. They're like, they didn't want anybody old. They're like, if you're old, you can't play in the league. They only wanted younger guys that are like just out of college or been in the NFL for a little bit. They don't want old players in there. They want it to be, yeah. you know, new That's players. That's why. That's why I think they're going to take off because I think their their league is probably going to mimic college football a little bit more and it, it's going to be high it's going to be a lot of action packed stuff going on. So that's what's going to captivate people. The game is fast. Have you heard about the rules? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen some of the rules. The overtime rule is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. I expect the NFL to copy that overtime rule. Yeah, the overtime, probably in one year. But like the, <laughs> the, like the the clock, 25 seconds? It's like fast, you know, instead of yeah. 40. So you have to get yeah. to, you got to get to the line. You got to get going. Yeah, so. they they don't they don't want games to go three hours. They, so they want to speed up the game. So I like it. Yeah, I like speed it. it up. I like it too. I'm looking it may- forward to it. And it'll make the NFL better because you're gonna get guys that are playing. You know, and there's a lot of guys from college that are gonna have to play in the NFL, but they don't get their shot. And this will give them a second opportunity to um, mm-hmm. potentially get in the NFL. Which I mean, we saw the first time around with the XFL, right? Like, like guys yeah, went from X- the XFL to the NFL. So. Yeah, the XFL, I mean, barring the shenanigans, it, it was good for the most part. You know what I mean? I liked how they used their nicknames. I, I wish they would have let them use their nicknames, though. Nah, that's the only can't. thing That's the only thing I wanted to return. Nah, you can't. Cause that's, that's like shenanigans. You know, that's like, oh, here yeah. we go again. You know, guys aren't using their real names, you know. Like, but but he hate me is so legendary. Like, people it, will it remember is. that forever. They do remember that. I remember he, everybody would talk about he hate me at school. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's talking about, yo, he hate me, he hate me, you know, like he's like the best player, Rod Smart. But uh, yeah, 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 man, I think like Tommy Maddox too. He like ended up playing quarterback for the Steelers after that XFL stint. So yeah, he won the championship and then playing for the Steelers. After yeah, that, so. yeah, that was good. So I think there's gonna be a lot more guys though because they're doing it a little bit different this time. So it should. Be. Oh, did you did you hear they announced a partnership with FanDuel today? Yeah, yeah, I did see that. And so, it looks, uh, it, another thing, real quick. Um, another thing. Um, it looks like there might be a game. Two K might be making. Uh, I told y'all two K is going to make the game. I I I told y'all it was a done deal when they decided to come back. Mm. That two K was going to make that game. Like, and who was the one who made that connection? <laughs> Vince McMahon. Of course, Vince made that connection, well, but he also got to understand that if he wants to sell his game, he's going to have to have somebody to make a good game. So, oh uh, well, two K has been doing a bad job. So we'll oh, see. Oh, they've how. been doing a terrible job at wrestling, but they he knows yeah. they're legendary for football. They're, they're, yeah, their football game is amazing. People <laughs> still play good 2K5. back in the day. People still yeah. play two K five to this day. They download the rosters, and you can play two K five to this day, like with the new with new rosters, which is crazy in my opinion. You know, um, y'all got y'all got to uh, give me the link because I keep forgetting you on uh, the the Twitch. <laughs> but the link to the, the link to what <laughs> the Twitch the Twitch stream to my own Twitch. <laughs> to the stream you can't that look you're for on? it. You can't look for it. 
Oh, Twitch TV. I Twitch. just I, I just hopped on the stream just three minutes ago myself, but Twitch? at least you, you try looking for it, Baron. <laughs> oh, oh, you put it you put it on your uh you put it on your uh Twitter. Of course yeah, he it's did. It's on Twitter. Yeah, I posted okay, it on Twitter. Okay, okay. Right. Why are you not streaming on, on YouTube anymore? What, what happened? Dude, I'm... I'm... <laughs> <laughs> you really oh, haven't you been still, here. You still yeah, you wait really, a minute, hold on. I'm wait, banned really, from still, YouTube. You still banned from that for a week, situation? For one more week. No, not I'm, no, not even a week. I'm, I'm banned on Sunday. <laughs> wow. I'm unbanned. It's been that long. I, I, it's yes, that long. it's three months. Okay. I got... I got a quarter of the year. Mega punched by the Pokemon company and Nintendo. I thought that was over with. I didn't think you were no, still three, suffering from that. It's three months that they 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 can ban you. They can ban you for up to three months for one strike. I got banned for three months, man. God, that's horrible. They said, they said get your ass out of here. Yeah, they, I got <laughs> mega punch, dude. They super kick. It's critical. They're man. like, you want to have a community and make a profit? Nope. <laughs> it's out not of even here. about. It was not even about profit. It was just about. Well, 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 I mean, views and like. Getting noticed and all that because yeah. you haven't been able to get as much exposure on YouTube because I have the app TubeBuddy and like I compare it with me and yours all the time and like we're always both going upward but yours is so much higher because of how much content you're outputting and with how much streams you do and because of the recent few months it's, it hasn't been as much as it used to be because you were having streams with a thousand people <coughs> man and they cuffed you. They cuffed you, and you had thousands of people in your streams the last few weeks listen, before that happened, man. Listen, listen, they stopped your traction. That's listen, listen. They, that's messed up. You were listen, reaching listen, the heights. Listen, 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 it happens. Look, listen, look. Like Meek, how long? How long did Meek Mill get thrown in jail for? <laughs> a year and like, a half. <laughs> like Meek, Meek was in jail for what? You know what I'm saying? Like Meek was in jail for a while. So you know it happens. It happens. It, it, his was worse. His was actually real jail. I was just in. YouTube douchebag jail, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. YouTube fraud, fraud, false copyright, you know, douchebag jail. So At like, least you're given food in jail. You're not given food from YouTube. Uh, you know what? Hey, look, I'm good. Well, hey guys, here's my big YouTube announcement. I think for those who are on the YouTube page, that you know, I'm back on YouTube this Sunday. I'm back. So we back on YouTube this Sunday. So that should be a lot of fun. I'm gonna have some giveaways, some prizes, some other stuff like that. So it should nice. Be, should be cool. Cool. Why you at it? Go ahead and send me some of them codes you got. What codes? What are you talking about? Them download codes you got that you be getting. You ain't getting sent any codes yet. Who? Who sent codes? Nobody sent me any codes. Well, I was talking to Baron. Oh. You said it what? You haven't been sent any codes yet. Did I get a what? You haven't been sent any codes yet. No, nobody sent me no codes, man. I don't have any. Damn. Here. I got fan, I got Fantasy Star Online though. Fantasy Star Online. You you playing in that uh, tomorrow, uh, Bear? Uh, oh, when I didn't know it came out tomorrow. Yeah, you gotta download the Xbox Insider Hub. You got that? Oh no, I don't don't have that. No, nah, download the Xbox Insider <laughs> Hub and then get into the beta. <laughs> you gotta you gotta just apply for it. They'll give it to you. It's easy. And then you just. I'm really it. waiting on uh Bleeding Edge. Did, did they delay Bleeding Edge? Bleeding Edge. That game with those weirdo looking. Ca- you you waiting on that? You mean game? oh you mean Microsoft Overwatch? Basically, that's basically that what game it is. Looks like hot yeah. trash. Bro. Yeah, Ninja no, Theory man. shouldn't be making that. <laughs> it don't look like trash. That I'm game looks like hot trash, dude. It oh, looks so geez. bad, man. What, what looks good about that game? Everything I like. I only have my glasses on, and I can see how bad it looks. Oh man! What looks good about? No, tell me. You said everything looks good. Yeah, the character designs. The character designs look horrible. Look horrible. The character designs look horrible. (laughs) What's good, everyone? What's good, everyone? Yeah, what's good, everyone? OJ here. Welcome to another PE podcast. This is episode number eighty-four. Let me introduce my cast. Uh, We got VC here. VC, how you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I actually just formally announced it on Twitter, and I did last night on the broadcast that I'm going to be on the Spawncast this week for this episode. And once again, I want to say thank you, John, for the invitation. And aside from that, I've been doing a lot of content recently. I dropped a video on GameCube Hidden Gems. I dropped a video on the whole Platinum scenario going on with the wonderful one, one-to-one Kickstarter. Uh, tons of stuff, tons of streams, tons of content. And I'm also still working on music right now. I got an album coming out probably in the late spring, but that's a long time from now. And uh, yeah, things been going pretty well, pretty well otherwise. Yeah. All right. And, uh, and, and oh, oh, by the way, you, you usually always say what games you play and all that. I, I was going to mention it, but uh, I just uh, picked up uh, Ever Oasis. I saw it at GameStop for fifteen, seventeen dollars. So I picked it up. Smooth Cop. I just had to turn on my 3DS finally. <laughs> and aside from that, uh, I picked up Darksiders Genesis, so I can't wait for that to be dropped off of my house. Nice. So I, it's going to be a 
it's it's one of my big games for the year, is honestly. That, is, that what, what for or did you get on PS4? Uh, for Switch. It's coming out uh, next week. Oh, okay, okay. So you just pre-ordered it. Oh yeah, from Amazon. It's, it, so it's gonna come out, and I'm gonna get like maybe a day after it drops. Yeah, I, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna get that game too. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, it looks really good. So I have high hopes. Yeah. And aside from that, uh, I was playing Sword and Shield with all the flat grass earlier on stream. Oh. It was a dope time. It's a dope time, but uh, there's a new raid going on right now for those who do like that game. And the reason why I played it is because it's my favorite Pokemon, the only one that's good in the whole game, because the whole game has ugly Pokemon, except for Grimmsnarl and Toxtricity. And those are the only ones that have D-Max built in tonight. damage control to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Built in damage control. I, 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 mean, built in damage I wasn't going to say anything, but I you one of your streams yeah. I was watching, you said, I'm playing this game because I'm bored. As if there's not any other game you can play. Hey, hey. <laughs> this I man built damage game control play. into his title. Hey, it's hey. like, I'm playing this game because I'm bored. <laughs> Bro, you got a million different games to play. <laughs> I do, but the thing is, is when you see the traction and you see the numbers, and you enjoy seeing everyone hanging out and ha having a good time. It's like you want want to have them have fun, and they do. One hundred percent click comes through in the building. They're all in oh here. Oh my god, this man literally built in damage control to his title. Hey guys, I'm playing Pokemon Sword and Shield because I'm bored. Because I'm, not because I did. I, I, did. I did do that, guys. In the title, I did. I was watching the stream. Uh, I just, I, I just lurk in your stream because I don't want to, I don't want to like, because I cost too. Sometimes I cost too much stuff when I go into like, you know, elite like PE ninja streams. Like sometimes I cost too much ruckus. You know, like people well, well, like, well, pay attention to me because, instead of the streamer. Everyone says, "What's up, player essence? How are you doing?" And everyone's like asking what you're doing the whole time. Yeah, I understand. So I, I, I've, I've had that happen sometimes, no, but so, you get it a lot more, obviously. So. Yeah, so I don't want to disrupt people's streams. So if like any of the elite ninja, if you guys are streaming, I'm there. I'm just not talking because I don't want to disrupt yeah. you guys' stream. Um, but, uh, yeah. but, but, uh, yeah, I just found that, I found that title. I wanted to say something, but I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna just shut the hell up. <laughs> I was you gonna say something in the I'm like, you know, I'll just be quiet. Let him, let him enjoy the stream. Let, uh, let me enjoy the stream. It was a good yeah. stream. So, cause like, I only have fun whenever I'm doing stuff with the people and the hundred percent click through the patrons and those that are subscribed that come through all that. So. I just do things for them most of the time because I, I do votes on, on the patrons for the Discord, the exclusive Discord, and it's not, it's I not, usually have it so it. it's for them. <laughs> they've been voting Splatoon all the time, and I don't like Splatoon. I'm trash at the game. We play Splatoon way more than we play Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> way more. And I hate Splatoon. I hate it. And I get popped the whole time. Christian's going in there going blobber, 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 and we're all just dying. <laughs> well, what about you, Baron? Baron, what's up with you, man? Welcome to the stream. We got Baron here on the cast. What's up? Yeah, Baron in the building. Yeah, I'm finally on here after a short hiatus and some uh, misfortunate mistimings. <laughs> <laughs> Last week. Um, yeah, um, what was the question again? I just said, how you doing, man? <laughs> What's up? Welcome to the stream. <laughs> there was no action. Doing question. good. Doing good. Just been busy, you know what I mean? Yeah, wrestling stuff, of course. Yeah, I saw you were on Fortnite, Fortnite too. Still getting. Yeah, uh, I played. I played for. I just said, you know, let me check out this chapter two, and I, I won Victory Royale first match. I was like, oh, it's, it's still sweet in here. I see. <laughs> how's the game running? Like, how's the game running and everything on this? Oh, Switch? I was about. To, I wanted that to be a topic today. Sure. Somehow the performance got worse. Worse? I don't know how that happened. Yes, worse. Worse. Oof. Oof. Yeah, I, I'm I'm lost too. I, I don't get it. When they, they uh, based on like people that you're playing with, like had trash connections. Nah, I'm talking about how the game looked and everything. I was like, what the hell happened to this game? Hmm. Because chapter one was chapter one ran pretty pretty decently and, and it looked pretty good. Chapter two right now looks really rough. I was like, what is going on, bro? Like, it's kind of crazy. Well, but yeah, I played that. It ain't ain't really uh much else going on. You know, we in this little this little short dry spell after you know Christmas has usually happened, and with that disappointment that was Pokemon Sword and Shield. It uh, is a disappointment. I still think it is. <laughs> that has to be really it. bad taste in my mouth. That that that's the worst way to end the holiday season with a game that leaves a bad taste in my mouth. So it's uh. I know. It, it, Did you get a uh, Star Ocean? Star Ocean came out at the end of the year. 
no, came out in December. Didn't, you didn't get that. Nah. Didn't Especially, I mean, the, the worst thing about Pokemon Fire. is like how many people just like hate the game so much, and considering you know what happened to, like <laughs> the sales of the game. I mean, it just it really people just I, we really all knew it was gonna sell in a, we in a negative it way. Sell. People just really hated that game, and they just responded in such a negative way with the sales too. It was it was horrible. I mean, and I and I can understand you know from that standpoint. Considering how bad the game is, you know, I, I was I figured people wouldn't buy that crap, and people really oh, did. Look, look, look OJ, really you got it. OJ, you got to understand, this game, Pokemon now has the Call of Duty effect. Oh, yeah. That's where exactly. people complain about the shit, and then they buy it anyway. So. <laughs> you don't got to tell me that. I know. I know. <laughs> but I really, I genuinely meant what I said when, when I was complaining about this game and when I got the game. So, unless Pokemon is gifted to me again, I will not be buying another one. That's for sure. Unless I see some drastic changes. That's, it's not happening. Oh, what's up, Jordan Fringe? Is Jordan in the chat? Yeah. Oh, what's up, Jordan? Welcome to the stream. Hey, um, it, it's oh, not hey. Oh, God. But, uh, but I, I know you wanted to talk about... Uh, we have some cool topics, guys. We're kind of going all over the place, but don't worry. Yeah. There's structure. Trust me. Um, what does it say in my title? It says, The Wonderful 101 wonderful Kickstarter. 101. I, think, I think we should start there. Uh, yep. Because yeah. uh, everybody here played the wonderful one on one on Wii U, right? Did everybody here play that? Or yeah, no, yeah. Okay, VC, you. But did I it. have an interest, so I have a different perspective. You on are in for a treat work. because you're gonna get a 60 frames per second, you know, 1080p version of. You're gonna get the the really dope version of the game that has extra content. Like you're really in for a treat. The game was already really good on the Wii U, yeah. and you're gonna get an even better version of the game. Which is cool. So, Baron, I want to get your thoughts on this. You know, Wonderful One on One Kickstarter. It looks like it's going to beat all of its goals so far. Um, I think they're almost at three one point five million uh, for the Wonderful One on One Kickstarter. Um, let me see. Let me let me double check the Wonderful One on One Kickstarter. I think they're at almost one point five million. Um, it's the Wonderful One on One Remaster. That's the official title of the game. Yeah. And yeah, they are at. They have twenty two thousand backers plus twenty eight days to go, and they're at one point four two million and counting and going up. So they're wow. easily going to hit that one point five million. And at one point five million with this Kickstarter, you actually get um you get Luca's first mission. It's a brand new two D side scrolling <laughs> adventure, uh, starring the young hero Luca. Um, which plays a part. Uh, no spoilers. It plays a part into the you know into the the game. Like he's a big. Uh, yeah. part of the game uh, luca. So that, but luca is a that's that's cool i like the fact that they're doing that and then at 1.75 million you get a remix soundtrack featuring a secret special guest which the soundtrack in this game is really good hideki kamiya himself even actually seen some of the, the lyrics in the japanese version of the game so um it is uh it's pretty cool it's pretty cool and you have japanese and english voice in this game so you can listen to both uh both tracks in the game that's why the game was actually kind of bigger than people thought it would be it was over 10 gigabytes on the wii u and people are like damn why is this so, such a big game and like oh well there you go dual audio voice tracks dual audio voice tracks dual audio music everything's all in there in the game um yeah, yeah. so uh it's a very interesting game it's a very fun game it's very unique um and it's going to be enhanced for the nintendo switch and for the playstation 4 and for pc um, the more interesting thing with this, which I want to get you guys' opinion on this, um, outside of what you guys just think about the game and all that, is how this game even came about with Platinum Games self-publishing. Apparently, Nintendo wanted the game to be on the Switch. Nintendo was willing to publish the game, but Platinum yep. Games did not want to it did not want it to only be on the Switch. They wanted it to be on multiple platforms because they didn't want the game to suffer the same fate that the Wii U suffered in terms of it. Now, yes, they know that the, of course the Switch was doing better, but they still wanted to see if they can get this game to have more reach because you know this game is not going to be like a massive seller on any single platform that it's on, no matter what. So they want to expand their IP and have their own self publishing. So Nintendo, out of the kindness of their heart, according to Platinum Games. Let them use this IP. Just said you can use it. It doesn't seem like it's why? definitely kindness. This is the first time this has ever happened. It's it definitely in the very, way this very is kind. The yes. first time. very kind of Nintendo, but it's because of that relationship that they have, right? It's because of that right. special relationship that they have that Nintendo allowed them to do this. So they're very nice of Nintendo and nice of Platinum Games because they love this game, man. Like Platinum, this is probably their most beloved game. I think out of all their games, I think it's like Bayonetta and Wonderful 101. But I think Wonderful 101 is like the, the company's most beloved game you know like they yeah really do they were hoping it. for it to do really well i think when it first was made yeah. but for me personally uh i do am like i'm considering backing it in the 40 dollar tier where it's the physical game that's what i'm considering right now uh i haven't done it yet because i did just i mentioned i picked up dark side of genesis so 
I'm just waiting for a few weeks since there is still 28 days till. So I'm going to wait a little bit and then I'm going to go for that tier, the $40 tier. So or get you, that version. You can, and, and, you can just buy the game when it launches. I mean, it'll be in stores. Yeah, but I think it's to be a higher price. So no, it'll, uh, that's it'll why be, I was probably going to start it, right? No, it'll be 30 Is it going to be $40? It'll, it'll probably be $39.99. I feel like it's going to be 60 no, that's why. No, it's not going to be sixty. It'll either be thirty nine ninety nine or be four nine ninety nine. It'll be one of those two. It will not be sixty bucks for this game. All right. Okay. It think, should be know. forty. It's gonna be. It should 40. be forty. That's that's why I wanted to pick it up from the Kickstarter because right? I assumed it was going to be sixty when it drops. It's probably that's gonna be my 40. thoughts. It's probably going to be forty bucks when it, when it drops. That's that's what I would guess it, that it's going to be forty bucks when it drops. If they wanted to sell, it better not be sixty. It's not going to be. 60. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be 60. <laughs> Like, and, and, and it's better be 40 with the Luca side mission. Well, no, 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 no. The Luca side mission is for backers. It's, its own game. No, it's for backers. All the DLC, oh, yeah, okay. like the, the time attack and all that stuff. The backers get the DLC for free. So all the oh, stuff. Oh, so, so I'm, I'm going to do that then. Obviously, yeah, yeah. I'm going to pay 40 dollars here for the backers because they'll get all that too. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. If you don't buy, the, if you wait till the, and get, get the game in stores, you get all the cool stuff that's included in the game, like normally. But all the yeah. DLC released, you have to pay for that. Whereas backers uh-huh. get all DLC for free. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'll definitely pull through for the Kickstarter though, because I I did miss out on it, and I did always want to give it a try, because I've always liked Platinum Games games all the time, from the Bayonetta series to Nier Automata and Astral Chain. Astral Chain Gang. Come on, we all yeah. know here that that game was one of the best games to drop in 2019. It was. It was a fantastic. Game. Fantastic. Yeah. Game. Yeah. Um, all right. So, well, what about you, what about you uh, Baron? What's your thoughts? I, I don't know if I've ever gotten your thoughts uh, on the Wonderful One Hundred and One at all. So, well, I mean, well, yeah, that was so long ago. Yeah. So, <laughs> it was a long time. But ago. yeah, it, it was a cool concept. It was it was a great game. Um, I was hyping the hell out of that game when it first came out because it just reminded me of Power Rangers, basically. So, um, I really like the atmosphere and how everybody, uh, every character was unique. How almost every uh, uh, wonderful member was kind of stereotypical too, so it was really fun to see that. So, um, <laughs> you know, I, and the voice acting was great. The soundtrack was great. So, yeah, it was a really underrated game. Um, with this, um, I'm I'm not shocked that Nintendo probably gave them back this IP. Um, cause clearly they really didn't want to do nothing with it cause they, <laughs> they green lit them for Astro chain. So it's like, <laughs> obviously they really didn't have any interest in continuing this franchise. So it doesn't shock me that they got it. So I don't think Nintendo really cared about keeping that IP, um, <clears throat> especially with how Bayonetta and Astro chain is doing for them. So I think they really, they really, you know, I think they're really satisfied with those two at this moment. Uh, and it and it shows that yeah it shows how their relationship is you know it could be like a Microsoft situation where they want to finish Scalebound but Microsoft won't come off a of Scalebound so <laughs> it, it could be that situation so you know there's you know, some people on uh, Twitter Baron there's some people on Twitter Baron that are going out of the way saying oh the Platinum funneled the money from Scalebound to their other projects yo that that, that and, and it's not even real I'm I'm like sources and they're like oh it's just a rumor I'm like. Of course it is, you moron. Well, like, let me let me let me say something about this. People gotta, you know, people gotta pay attention to stuff that's happening and shit. Uh, just look at Wonderful One Hundred and One and look at all the platforms that's coming to, and which platform is missing? Mac, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Linux, it's, it's <laughs> Linux, <laughs> it, it, it's Opera, Vita. Uh, well, we Stadia. know. We know. We know, uh, yes. you know a big a big you know X marks the spot on which one is missing. So <laughs> you're gonna uh, get choked y'all... out by smooth if you don't stop there. <laughs> so uh, 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 <laughs> smooth is gonna choke That's you out. Exactly. By the way, I love kids smooth, so, by the way. So this is the thing, I, y'all I'm need to understand. To cool, but... Y'all need to understand, like I was telling people in the past when uh when they talked about that, that um that that was nothing but PR that they put out about Microsoft. Or was it a two years ago or a year and a half ago when the scale by situation went out? Uh, twenty seventeen. Yeah. So it doesn't shock me that that game is not to Xbox because obviously some bad blood. There. Maybe it's, it's one of the platinum bad. four. Maybe it's one of the platinum four. See, but that's the thing, though. But then that proves Smooth's point because he's saying that there's some bad blood. Like it, he said that it, like it's no not Smooth. Good. Smooth is trying to say they did bad. Business. Yes. No. 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 Yeah, no. No. Exactly. Microsoft did bad business. Because yep. obviously, I have never seen a develop. I've never seen a studio 
have a fallout like this over a game that was well into development <laughs> and they pull a plug on it and obviously they want to finish it they have said it on multiple occasions they want to finish this game well it's it was happened. probably 60 percent done too it's, like, ha- you know it's what I mean? happened before though like nintendo i mean like rockstar like the reason why rockstar is what rockstar is is because they can't okay, well, cancel yeah, the projects that nintendo they canceled fully too when it was halfway done yeah, i remember that yeah. I, I I get that, but not not to this magnitude. You know what I mean? Because that that was supposed to be one of Xbox flagship things, and and uh, didn't you usher you know Kamiya out there to showcase the game at E3? Was it a couple of times they did that, and then just yeah. to pull a plug on that like that. So th- that would piss some people off, especially if they put because Platinum said they put they put their heart into everything they do. Yeah. So obviously they they feel some type of way of not being able to finish that project. So I'm not surprised it's not on Xbox. So if Xbox don't want to play, if Microsoft don't want to play nice with Platinum, Platinum's not going to play nice with Microsoft. But they could easily add a stretch, <laughs> they could easily add a stretch goal and get more. Um, oh no, here's they the get, stretch they goal would be re- five million. They're I don't make think it they care. I don't think they want to no, do it. They That's gave a reason. No, they actually gave a reason. They, the they don't, they don't want to stretch themselves too thin with too many ports. That's what they said. <laughs> Yeah, that was believe a, that? That's yeah, all on. PR, dog. That's yeah, PR yeah. talk. No, that's I, that's I, PR. Dog. No, I believe it. <laughs> no, I don't believe it. Because that. they're working on multiple projects. I, I believe that. Bruh, come on. If you already porting it to the, the, the Switch, come PS4, on. and the PC, bruh, come on. No, bruh, a port for to Xbox, it's not going to take too much long. Obviously, it wouldn't take too much longer than anything come on, like bruh. that. But, I mean, they could at least have a stretch <laughs> goal for it. But no, I, think I don't like think they care. I think, think they just like, being professional and cordial at this moment with this situation. I don't think they care about doing it. I don't think they want to do it. Yeah. That's how I feel. I read they just don't want to associate stuff. with Microsoft at this point. That's really what it is. Because the, the the loss of Scalebound almost made them bankrupt. It was because of Neon Amada selling so and, well. And and another there, another point I want to point out is the other thing I want to point out is uh, Platinum Games can be a little bit hard headed because the fact that they had to do a Kickstarter for this. It's kind of telling to me because yep. if you ain't got 50k to publish your own the stuff, game, the game didn't. No, cost they it. have the enough for 50k. 50K. They, they I know they cost 50. I'm just saying, like you put if you put now Kickstarter goals for self publishing, obviously, I, I got obviously at some point I understand you want to stay independent, and I know Nintendo wanted to buy them at one point. I believe Microsoft did. That's cool if you didn't want to be on a nobody umbrella, but if if you got to go to Kickstarter for self publishing, dog, I, maybe you should have went under to somebody's wing because no, I, y'all I, y'all I, too I, talented to be teetering on the edge like I disagree. that. I don't I, like. First that. of all, I disagree with people slant this slander on Kickstarter and what and what wonder like what Platinum Games is doing. Look, I suggested in the Wii U era that. Big developers, big publishers. Platinum Games isn't even a de- isn't even a publisher. They're a developer. Okay, so they're trying to get into publishing. I suggested that big publishers, if you think that Wii U owners can't buy games, let us buy it on Kickstarter. Give us an opportunity. Get, tell us what your goal is, because you you know what they would say. People aren't gonna buy it. Nobody. Blah blah blah. You know. I was like, give us the opportunity. So w- instead of putting it in the hands of Nintendo or putting it in the hands of whatever and letting it go on their terms. This is a way that we can say that we can dictate. We can be the investors. We can be the backers of something that we want. This is a niche game. If companies, instead of waiting forever, dude, let them say, let's fund a Chrono Trigger remake. Dude, you know how many people would be like, all right, cool. G- give me a Chrono Trigger. I'll pay for it right now because they're, they're going to fund it anyway. Well, you know? OJ, this is, this is a different situation. You already said Nintendo was willing to do it, but they, they, wanted, to do it, they wanted to do it on their own. So it wasn't yeah. a situation that no. a publisher didn't want to do it. This is the fact they don't have the funds themselves to do that. Here's the thing. They wanted to do it, but they wanted to have it reach more systems. They, it, yep. The problem was it was only going to be on Switch. It wasn't about the money about and getting it, it, it out there. That was the problem. And here, only, here's my thing about other it. Systems. I, don't, I don't see I – don't, I don't know what they really expected out of this game. I think it would have did – well, just being as a switch port and exclusively to switch again, I think for, it would have did pretty well. Fifty k was not the price of the uh, cost of the game. Fifty <laughs> k, I think fifty k was the first marker on the Kickstarter. Fifty k was they had already been working. The game's coming out in April. They'd already put their own. Yeah, money so they already the been working. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It's like yeah. it's like you already been doing it. So obviously, <laughs> but they wanted the game so, to have more. They don't want it to only go on switch they wanted that's, it to go on multiple systems I, I got what you're saying but that's the thing um 
that kind of baffled me. I was like, if you want to do self publishing, I don't think Wonderful One Hundred and One is the game you start with. That's the only Not thing. To me, about, I don't think they so. care about it that much. That's why that's they're the starting. Thing they, they don't have any IPs to their name. <laughs> that's yeah, the, Nintendo true. gracefully that's allowed true. them to take the IP, and you they <laughs> don't have any. Really, Platinum Games has zero. They don't own Near. They don't own yeah, Bayonetta. They don't, they don't own. Um, anything they, they own they, nothing they really don't own don't own anything they, they don't own Seriously, anything yeah. this is the only thing they can get and they got it you yeah. know so i don't see the issue here i really don't i i don't i don't think it's an issue i just thought it was pretty telling i was like man they're desperate i, they're I, desperate. I get that you, i get you want to do that but i'm like man look y'all too talented man like y'all too much y'all too talented as a development studio man it's like it makes you wonder. Without Nintendo's help at the for the last six years or seven years, where would they be at right now? You know what I mean. Imagine if Microsoft. So that's kind of scary. Them. So that's kind of what's yeah. scary. About I mean, it. obviously, Square Enix near that was a big that was like you know VC was saying that was big, dude. Without near and without the sales there, and then they got some extra sales over four before. million. Like I mean, that's yeah. so much. Without most games. without near, they'd be in trouble. But somebody would have picked them up. So I mean, it's not like they would have went bankrupt or out of business. Somebody That's what I'm saying. Somebody would have so. picked them up. But the way they operate is like, even if they came to that point, would they still not allow it to happen? Allow what to, <laughs> allow what to happen? Allow uh, allow anybody to buy them out. Allow anybody. I feel to... like I feel like that's the type of leadership they have. Like. Even if even if they they going down with the ship, that's no, what I feel like. No, they wouldn't. Do that's that. what I feel like they would do. <laughs> no, I would, because I, 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 yeah, so I can't sense. understand for the life of me. I can't understand for the life of me. They wouldn't. I can't understand for the life of me how they're not under. Now, like they, wanted. I have seen multiple interviews where Nintendo wanted them to be in the fold, and they still are not there. It's like it baffles they, me. I don't they get don't, it. Don't they don't want to be owned by anybody? Like they want. That's freedom. what I'm saying. They I'm saying freedom. it. And then they got this in capital investment from Incendent or something. Uh, that Tencent. that Chinese Tencent, Tencent that yeah. Ch Japanese, not Japanese, that Chinese, Chinese. company. Yeah. So I was like, man. So what was we don't even know the details of that. So that's even scary to me. So I'm like. They have to be getting something out of this deal, and we don't know what that is. Out of what deal? <laughs> for them deal? put up uh, for for them investing in them like that. Ten cent. Yeah, yeah out they, of nowhere. Got, so I was like, uh, World of Demons is the game that's coming out. World of Demons. It's a mobile game coming out. It has an art style similar to Okami too. It well, should be coming out sometime uh, later this year, possibly. We don't know exactly what the investment from Ten Cent is going to be. Yeah, we don't know, but that's what's coming out soon. I've heard. Uh, look, I've been, I did a lot of research for my video the other day, so I know a lot <laughs> about Platinum Games and what they've been going through. Sorry, I've been cutting you off tonight about that. But no, it's cool. It's cool. I'm like, I'm like really on the topic. Did Tencent say that that they're investing in molten just that game? Well, I'm not sure Which about game? that. Just that game. I think it's multiple games, but the only game that I know of that's confirmed to be releasing sometime this year is uh, World of Demons. Because so they they're, make, that, so they're they, making a. They announced that game a while ago. Like they're. Yeah, they announced it a while ago, but it's still not out yet. The, though. That that's, that was announced yeah. way before the ten cent investment. Yeah, but so that's the what? thing. It hasn't been out yet, so I believe they went, had to do the ten cent deal to be able to fund it because they changed it up and it made it so it was more microtransaction heavy. The game didn't look micro microtransaction heavy at all two years ago. So and it still hasn't released yet. So they definitely made that deal with them for that game and definitely more than that of course obviously that's why I'm, that's that's why I'm wondering what's, what else is under his sleeve with them yeah well we'll have to we'll have to wait and see it's interesting i mean the wonderful one on yep. kickstarter has been more than successful obviously people you know yeah. there's people on it did amazing sides. yeah it, it's it's it did, it did well though yeah. it did. a it's million in a day yeah <laughs> it did get like a million in a day didn't it it was like <laughs> It was like a million in a day. From three o'clock to three o'clock, it was a million. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. But I mean, when you think about it from like a game seller's point of view, I mean, essentially they've sold twenty-two thousand copies of this game. Yeah, know? and and the thing is, yeah, it's it's only like thirteen thousand when I saw it, and now it's twenty-two thousand that bought the copy. Which of course it's less copies than when it originally sold back on the Wii U, but the profit is different, of course. And there's also be people who are going to buy the game who didn't back it that are going to so, buy it. Too. So so it's just getting a, yeah. it, it's. Is it going to get a physical release now or what? Right yeah, not. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you back the game with, I think, 41 or 50, 41 or 50. Uh, 41. Yep, 41. 41 bucks, you get a you get a physical copy. The game is coming out April. 
Yeah, with a with a different cover, by the way. It's a different cover as well. Yeah. It's a different cover. Yep. If you back yeah. it. Yeah, that game. Uh, that game definitely has the potential to be a cool series. I think a sequel. If if they get, <laughs> see, this was messed up about it. I always thought One for One on One would come back and will have bigger funding where it could be a bigger project because there's so much potential there. But now they're self publishing it, so I'm like, you know. Well, my expectations for what it could be in the future is probably down. Direct yeah, down. Down. <laughs> like a stock, like WWE stock the other night just went down. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to sell copies of the game. If you want a bigger investment for the next game, the first game's got to sell a lot. And like the first game obviously kind of flopped. So there's yeah. no way that the, it's going to get a bigger investment when the first game didn't do well. You know? That's why I want to take this moment to thank everybody for buying Astro Chain because that's <laughs> going to be an amazing fucking trilogy. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's going to be an amazing trilogy. You know, one yeah. of the fastest selling Platinum Games games. I love it. Astro Chain Deserve is going to get an amazing sequel. I think the sequel yeah. is going to be freaking god tier. I hope there's like yeah. 10 uh, different legions you can have in mm. the next one. I hope so too, though. That'd Five right. brand new ones. And some of them do like stuff for flight for like better platforming. I don't know. If they work no, on that, that, that is like the like one a, thing that they could fix. Like a flight. For flight. Yeah, like a yep. flight. Uh, and you could be in the air and attacking stuff. Yeah. Um, this, this, yeah. That'd be dope. Bro, there's so many possibilities. It's yeah. in. I yep. like that. I like that Especially idea. Especially with locales. There's, yeah, a flight legion would be dope. Yeah. And with many cool locales they can do with the aesthetic of the cyberpunk theme, they can make that mm. they can make that work. Especially with the side quests too, all the different side quests from the ice cream to running into the street when the red lights there and you almost get hit by a car, like no things cream. like that, just make the game hilarious. No so here, here's a, here's a question: Would you want it to be open world, or keep it keep it level based like it was? I think we should keep it level based, but make some of the areas bigger. I so think almost that's all. like almost like you know small hub world. Yeah, like I'm, I'm a hub world guy. I, I'm, I'm so kind of like Mario Odyssey ish, a little ish, bit. yeah, ish, yeah, definitely an ish of Mario Odyssey. I yeah, mean, like worlds like that. Yeah, I'm looking at like there's a game. I guess it's new, but like Persona Five Scramble. Oh, like the, it's such a good, such the, a good demo. The way that they do it there, where there's open areas and then like you kind of go into smaller areas and fight. I, I'm, I'm okay. Which Astral Chain is kind of like that, but a little bit maybe more open. I don't, I don't know everything that's in Persona Five Scramble, but I'm okay with the structure. But whatever they decide to do, I, I trust that they're gonna do the the best thing with this. So mm. if they want to make a bigger like you know city to explore that's more open, because that one was restrictive, right? There's certain areas that you can't go to that you just they just yeah. won't let you go to, and it wasn't that big of an area, but which is fine. I mean, yeah. you really just focus on the combat. You focus on uh, throwing away trash. You throwing know. away trash. I'm going to be spending you know the whole what? time getting you know going, bing, Bruh, bing, bing. For the sequel, that is my most anticipated game mechanic that I need to expand on. Throwing yep. away trash? Picking up litter and throwing and it in each, the trash. Each, each litter has to be a different point, a different point total for each thing. Yeah, maybe you know, after I discovered that. people doing the trick shots and I started doing them in the trash can, I was like, okay, I want to pick up more different types of trash now. Like, yeah, I, I want to get into trick shots point, insane. I want to get into this point that Mario brought up just real quick I, while we're on the topic of like near and stuff like that. He says that, and to be fair, uh, oh, hold up, or oh, real quick, sorry, the the, the weird, the weird, and um, uh, eight donated five dollars. Says had to show some love for my uh, for my ninja Pikmin four in the next direct. I had so I has sources. <laughs> I have I sources. I have sources. <laughs> yo, shout out to winning. Yo, thank you for the five dollars, man. I appreciate that. But um, to get to what Mario has to say here, because I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this. He says, and to be fair, near Autonoma uh, was on three platforms, so four million is great, but not impressive in my opinion. Astro Chain though, one million within four months, um, is impressive. Um, imagine going, uh, imagine it going multiplayer. So yeah, well, I'm not going to imagine that because it's not happening. But yes, it is impressive. Yeah. <laughs> it is impressive. It Keep my astral play. chain on my switch. That's yep. where switch it is more. That's where that's where it needs to stay. Yeah. So it's, um, it, it's Nintendo's IP and it sold. They said it's a big success. So I I mean I think he was just saying like he was. I think he's also in the same thought process. But he was trying to say like, okay, well, Nier was on you know Steam. It was on PS4. It was on Xbox yeah. One, and it got four million because it was on. It. Although I, I don't know how much it sold on the Xbox One. Probably next to nothing. Uh, but yeah. the Steam and the the Steam and the PS4 release mostly PS4, but Steam and PS4 did pretty well uh, for Platinum Games and for you know Square Enix. So yeah, that's true. And the install base obviously ten times higher than the Switch at this point. You know, well not ten times higher, but a lot higher. Obviously, um, you know, with the Xbox One, the Steam, PC, and also PS4. So I, oh, yeah, I think I think uh, you know I also want to take this time to tell OJ I told you so. 
Because OJ, OJ was kind of, OJ was kind of doubting, you know, I the sales 50, potential. I won fifty <laughs> bucks because. Wait a minute, hold up. Yo, I missed that. By the way, I missed that. I wish I saw that. One. He, uh, Aiden Quinn gave me my fifty. I won a bet based off of Astral Chain sales. Okay, <laughs> and it was originally supposed to be a hundred originally. By the way, no, I remember. Remember, I was saying. I remember, oh, I know, I know. VC remembers this. Remember, I was saying, yep. trying to predict the MPD for July. Yeah, in August, and and OJ was the only one just not really feeling it. He was like, "Nah, it's no way." Fire them three houses just came out. It's not going to happen. You said it sold one million in that one month, bro. Well, no, it didn't sell a million that month. That's but what still, I was saying. We, no st- way. we okay. still got to a million in a, in a pr- impressive time. No, I said so, it would, it, dude. I said it would reach a million. I said it would reach a million. I yeah. didn't think it reached a million in one month. That's all. <laughs> and 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 I'm happy for this game because it did that when it was a lot of competition out. Yeah. I mean, a lot oh, of competition yeah. on a oh. lot of on a lot of platforms. So Oninaki yeah. died because of National Chain, but Oninaki is a good game. <laughs> <laughs> No, so no, you know what game you really died? For Odinaki, you know, not you, selling? You know what I really died because of Astral Chain? Control really died because of Astral Chain. Oh, no, it got nominated for stuff. It, it's the most yeah. Oni, Oni, game. It's the game of the year at IGN and all these other publications. Bro, o- Oninaki didn't sell as well because, one, there was no physical edition, and they were asking for $50 for that <laughs> game. And two, it didn't review that great either. So hey, hey, hey. Well. The game is $50. It's got a 20-hour-long campaign. Maybe no, it seems a little the, short, but... No, I'm not saying the game's bad. I'm just saying, like, that's the reason why. Don't blame Astral Chain. <laughs> I'm not blaming Astral Chain because I love the game. You just blamed I, Astral Chain. You just said Odinaki hey, died because of Astral Chain. Astral Chain's my second favorite game of 2019. You ain't throwing <laughs> me under the boat. Like, okay, am I oh, hearing man. things? BC, am I hearing? I'm pretty sure you just said Odinaki died because of Astral Chain. <laughs> I'm you almost positive. Did you not say that? My bad if you didn't say that. No, no, I, obviously, I obviously didn't say that, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is what happened, but I digress. But but I, I do want to say this. I do want to say this. This really does open up the floodgates for Bayonetta 3. It it really does. I think I think we're gonna be surprised about how good Bayonetta three does. Bayonetta three is gonna do a meet this is gonna do two million in she she months. yeah, she million. she been she been on Smash Brothers twice. Her popularity is raising, and people just buy exclusive games on Switch. It's just that simple. <laughs> That's what they do. They do. Right no lie. I just bought Oninaki. Didn't get a day one because of Astral Chain. Right there. See? Hundred <laughs> <laughs> percent click Aron in the poof. Let's go. Well, there you go. I mean, Aron speaks for. He does speak for Aron. Aron's the homie. He does speak for a lot of people. Yeah. So there you go. And okay. He picked up AI Omnium files. He knows what's good. Okay, he knows so good. so Oninaki, not because there wasn't a real physical, not because it was fifty dollars, it was because of Astral Chain. Okay. Yeah, and Link's Awakening stole the shine from AI Somnium Files, even though AI Somnium Files had a really good score too. But I digress. did y'all touch on that last week? Did y'all go over the whole updated million even, sellers list? I don't even remember what we went. Over uh, for Switch <laughs> exclusive sales, well, yeah, that's actually the next topic. Yeah, let's get into that next time. Because I didn't know if y'all talked about that last We did, week. but we can talk about it again. Like, I mean, what, who cares? You know? It's always good to talk about sales. Yeah. I, I know y'all talked about the Pokemon sales, so we don't have to talk about those. 16, yeah, definitely not. We're good. 16 million? You guys don't want to talk about that? Y'all Bro, always want to talk about Pokemon. Is... Yo, we're ready. I want to talk about Pokemon. Pokemon. No, no, y'all don't want to talk about Pokemon now, huh? No, y'all don't want to talk about Pokemon. Okay, I, 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 I would give my... I'm a, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give my little two cents. Sixteen million in two months is absolutely ridiculous. Month and a half. Uh, my my opinion is that I'm not surprised because it's Pokemon, and I said I was gonna sell more than fifty million. That's anyway, just so. that's just ridiculous. That that thing gonna hit about twenty five million in the next five months it's or less. Thirty it's be thirty million by the end of uh June. Call it I'm calling it now. Thirty by the end Man, of June. Damn. Thirty. Yeah. Especially with that DLC, they, they, uh, that yeah, highway robbery I, of DLC they putting out. So Hey, I prefer uh, the DLC at least over a new game. It is overpriced, but it's better than a new game price. Come on. That, that's a fact. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I will give props to that. I mean, uh, if y'all expecting the Pokemon, you know, evolutionary ex- experience, y'all just hindered that from happening because you made that game sell $16 million in a oh, month and a half. So it ain't okay. never going to happen. Right here. We have Temtem, guys. <laughs> see, see, and, and, that's, and, and see, that's where I disagree. Because if you look at it from X and Y, 
to Sun and Moon. They evolved mm -hmm. the graphics. They did a lot of stuff from that too. So I mean, it, but it's that game didn't they sell they sixteen million in two months. They bro. All the <laughs> graphics, but the Y common sword and shield is booty. The online no. on X Y is way better. Okay, Hands down. what I'm trying to say is that because the main thing with, with Baron was graphics, right? So yeah, yeah. Well, what I'm, what I'm trying course. to say is that they always evolve the graphics from the from the games to game. They always do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Toe know. by toe, tippy toe by tippy toe. Yeah, I, I so the graphics tippy will toe get by tippy toe. the graphics will get better from from X and Y to Sun and Moon. I feel that there's a huge oh no, there, X and y. there is a huge difference because they literally went from chibi to normal looking people. So I agree for graphics wise, especially from no, X and Y. It. I'm not gonna hold my breath. They've done it before. I don't but, see why they wouldn't uh, do it again. Let's talk about Pokemon how New always Super Mario, like crazy, though, right? Pokemon New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe sold no how many copies? game copy? has ever sold 16 million. As, did GTA 5 even do that? Yeah, oh, GTA, GTA 5. Yeah, yeah, GTA, yeah. GTA, in the first two months, it did that. Oh, I think yeah, that's the absolutely. only game that done that. Absolutely. That has to be the only game that's done that. GTA yeah. 5. GTA 5 and Pokemon. Game. That's it. G well, no, there's like, probably been um, what was it? Maybe a Call of Duty. Hit. No, no, I don't know. Yeah, no, Call no, of Duty or no, a Call of Duty didn't hit 16. Yeah, in time, time. No, no not in a month and a half. It hasn't. Yeah. Maybe Marvel so, for two. Maybe maybe Marvel for two. It, that, that's just I, insane, bro. That's that's. God, that's I'll look that up. Marvel for two. Ridiculous. Pokemon. And that's and and the funny thing about that, that's all on one platform, not multiple platforms. One system. Fucking crazy. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's crazy. Well, what about some of the other games, though? I mean, you've got your Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. That hit a million like I told y'all I was going to do. And, and, nobody is, and you're right. Nobody get believed a it. And it's, it's a pretty good game. It's what? a pretty good game. I believed you that it was gonna hit. Uh, I knew it was gonna hit over a million. All of Marvel Ultimate, well, except for Marvel. Marvel Ultimate. No, Alliance you didn't. Too. You didn't. You didn't. You didn't have too much confidence. No, 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 no. Okay. You said that it was gonna right. outsell. You said it was gonna outsell. What was it? Fire Emblem. You said it was gonna outsell Fire Emblem, or you said it was gonna. No, outsell yeah. Initially, else. I thought it. I thought it would. Yeah, you know what I mean? Going, but I don't think it's going. To but be. Fire Emblem, you know, Fire Emblem leveled up on us. So it did. It did. I knew Fire Emblem was gonna do better. That's what I said. I knew Fire Emblem was gonna do better because Fire Emblem. No, was you was you was hoping Fire Emblem was gonna do. Better. No, I knew. <laughs> Bro, I made video. I made videos back in freaking 26, 2017, 2016. We understand it's gonna sell really well. What are you talking about? We understand that you are a Fire Emblem stand. We know that. No, I'm a Fire Emblem, point time, Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem fan. At that point in time, nobody would have ever agreed that, it's gonna be that good. Ultimate Alliance 3 would have sold less than Fire Emblem 3 hours. I already knew well, it was at, going to. Before the game came out, nobody would have really. No, I knew. I knew. Oh, by the but, way, guys, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 destroyed records, getting 4.7 million copies sold in the first three days. So I think Pokemon sold about 5 million in the same amount of days, maybe. Something like that. I think they said uh, six million yeah. in the first. Week. Yeah, it was. It's like ridiculous. That. It's six ridiculous. Million. So, like, and this is four point seven million back then. So I don't know. It seems the like it's the install base similar. was still a lot bigger though. With the, yeah, at, the, at that time too, especially with all those different consoles, it was on. So it's different. So yeah, so, maybe Pokemon is just a beast that you can't stop unless you're GTA Five. So so That's yeah, me, but it makes sense. So yeah, I got to give a round of applause to Astro Chain and Marvel Ultimate Alliance Three, but I have to give Astro a. Chain, even, yeah. Uh, even greater applause to Luigi's Mansion 3 because that Yo, surprised that. the hell out of me. That is really good. That over 5 million in that short period of time, I was like, wow. Yeah, that was incredible, honestly. That series is going to continue. That's, a, that's, uh, that's really good because that actually it is. That outsold <laughs> Link's Awakening like by a large yeah. margin. But like, that you know what else it outsold? Title. Luigi's Mansion. You know what else it outsold? New Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Maker 2. It out, yeah, it also Super Mario Breakers 2, Super Mario uh, Bros. It also outsold that trash Death Stranding. It also outsold <laughs> outsold Control. Star Wars falling Control. falling on. No, 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 outsold Star Wars. I thought I thought Star Wars was at four. Is it higher than that? Star, I think didn't they say Star Wars hit like ten? Ten? When they yeah. said that? I thought I thought I thought I heard. How it the hell did Star Wars yeah, hit yeah, ten? And, million, when so did it place on the MPD in no December? It's, I don't, it's been one of the ten. top. Uh, um, Star Wars ten. Hold up now. We yeah. just, we gotta Literally check, 10. We got to check, gotta, we gotta check like that. Eight, <laughs> eight, million, I mean, 8 million copies for Star Wars Fallen Order. Right? Eight, okay, eight well, million? that's still really good. Okay, I, 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 I kind of. Uh, multiple platforms. Yeah, it, but it, it is on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Yeah, yeah maybe Stadia too. I wouldn't know. No, it's not on Stadia. Stadia. Yeah. It's not on Stadia. It's not, Ain't uh, nobody buying on no damn Stadia, even if it was there. So don't even worry about people that. People who have Stadia don't even buy their stuff on Stadia anymore. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, if you compare it, though, like one platform, 
you know, five, what was it? 5.7 million? 5.6, I think, but yeah, seven now, five by now. <clears throat> well, yeah, the that game, game came out. That game came out on Halloween. October, yeah. Halloween. Yeah. That is insane. That's it insane. Did. I can't believe and the, that. And the day one sales was a lot too, but then they had that tracked. I'm pretty sure you had it in a video, OJ, back back then. But it was it sold like so much in day one. What which day? Uh Luigi's Mansion Three. Like oh, when yeah. you got the MPPs by like a week or two later, like I remember you posted a video about it. It the, sold like two million or three million. Yeah, I think? the launch sales for the game were really, 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 really good. They were Am- really high. Amazon. Amazon for some reason, that game, um, I have a I have a source within Amazon. Ooh, I, gotta be careful. I got a, I got a source within Amazon. I got somebody who works there. I have a source. I have a source within Amazon. <laughs> and was just telling me like their shipment numbers. So I don't have any like whenever I talk about games doing well, I don't have any concrete numbers or anything like that. I have a source with Best Buy. I have a source with Amazon. I got people that I know that work there, and they can tell me how much are they ship the volume of them shipping out there. So that's how I get engaged things sometimes. I don't I'll ever say that it's absolute, but Amazon and Best Buy are a very good way to track, especially Amazon, because Amazon sells. They're one of easily the largest largest seller like you know yeah. of video games in the u.s is amazon hands down a lot of games sell on amazon you know um so uh that's how i kind of find out some things and that's why Luigi's <coughs> mansion is doing really well because they were selling or they were shipping getting pre-orders and getting more copies of uh luigi's mansion than the games like the new super mario bros and super mario maker then a fire yeah. emblem then a lot of the games that came before so that's why i was thinking okay luigi's mansion is going to do very very well and also best buy doesn't sell anywhere near as much as amazon but uh yeah. my numbers that i was getting in from um best buy was that a lot of their stores were getting you know 30 to 40 reservations per you know per a store for yeah. you know for luigi's mansion so that that kind of kind of gauges how things are going you know most games don't get pre-orders at all luigi's his own character now that's what it means he's the <laughs> yeah, own character now. i mean there that was one store there, on there was one store at, at peak with best buy there was one store that literally had 300 reservations which is unheard of for a best buy you know what i'm saying for luigi's mansion 300 reservations at one store that's crazy i think that's like a call of duty or something like that you know yeah i think it definitely. also kills that other uh myth that people wanted to you know drag along last year that nintendo fans have to choose they're not going to buy multiple games well we shattered that yeah (laughs) because every game that came out they bought it so (laughs) exactly pretty much i got all of them i got it didn't matter how close it together they were or how they yeah, they bought. Well, I didn't get Damon X Machina. I didn't get that. Oh, we Damon X Machina was dead after that controversy. We knew. Damon X Machina. The thing with Damon X Machina. Damon X Machina is still. It had a okay. chance. It still did okay, according to at least according to what they think. Uh, Marvelist, I think they were fine with the think. sales. They the game could have sold over a million. It it easily could have sold. But people, I'm telling you, they don't understand the influence of YouTube. If you don't got freaking game explain and you don't have john and you don't have rgt and you don't have all of us talking about these games how are you going to sell your game honestly if you don't have the biggest youtubers or nintendo content creators or people talk people buy games sometimes based off of what they see yep. if it's not out there then how do they buy the game so that game it could have sold a million i think it would have sold a million but they got in their own way yeah, I remember when I first saw Damon X Machina back when they first showed it yeah. in the direct, and I was like, "That looks pretty dope." Like it looked cool, and I because I I liked Metal Wolf Chaos, so yeah, they got in their own way. Yeah. They, they got in their own way. The game, would, and it's coming to Steam now, so I think the Steam community is going to eat it up. I think it's going to yeah, they're going to they're going to mod, they're gonna mod the hell out of it. Yeah, they're going to mod it. Yeah, you're going to be Gundams. seeing Gundams versus like. Anything else? Like they're just gonna make Top, it insane. Power Rangers versus Gundam. You know what's happening. Yo, that, that's, that's, <laughs> that's what's gonna be. So, so since we're talking about exclusives, I now now that we got the feel of what the Switch owner base does, you know, as far as sales wise, what are your expectations for games coming out this year? Bayonetta three, No More Heroes three. Um, I heard Mario Kart 9 might be the big holiday game. Yeah, Mario Kart 9. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, so. bro. Oh, it could Lord. be. It could be. You know, so, uh, you know, a- Animal Crossing, what are your expectations sales-wise for those games? After uh-huh. seeing what these games done in that short window of the last six months of last year. Like, I could see $13 million for Animal Crossing after two, three months. Just like Pokemon Sword and Shield, which reached sixty million, I could see thirteen million for uh, Animal 13. Crossing. 
13 I'm not even I'm not long? even stupid enough to dispute that at this point. 13 million that's people a, that's love a that damn Animal Crossing, man. Like, I yeah. don't know why. Even, even with all the issues with the <laughs> game, you can't transfer the save data, switch to Switch. You can't save data back up. <clears> even though it's not a not competitive game. You can't have multiple islands, even if you have multiple accounts on the Switch. They want you to buy as many Switches as for many islands as you want, which is kind of nuts. From what I understand, uh, I was talking to the, the stream chat uh, the other day. They said that that's how all the Animal Crossing games are. Like, with uh, like the island oh, stuff. Oh, you got to like, be cut out just then, Ashley. Sorry. I didn't get to hear what you said. I, uh, I was told that that's how all the Animal Crossing games are. Like, per, like memory card, you know, like one save yeah. per... Like that, that, I was told that that's just how all of them are. I'm not saying that that's okay. Um, but from what I understand also, too, is that like apparently the island is so big... Or that there's so much stuff that like, somebody else could you can have another profile play and have a different character and oh. just still play on the have screen. different like towns and yeah. use each maybe that's the point maybe that's like the point that they're trying to get across to people mm -hmm. and people just want their own giant island and mm -hmm. instead but they're saying like hey if you want people to play like build up your island mm -hmm. together everybody exactly. build up their island yep. together instead of having oh i have this island and then this island and this island it's more fun it's a more fun game if you hey you're building it's kind of like asynchronous or whatever like you know like you built this part when they were gone then when they come and play they have this part built and then all of a sudden you guys there's this this huge place of where everybody built stuff and it's cool to see new things maybe that's what they're going for with the game that's what i'm thinking maybe that's, that's what, what it thinking. seems like to me too now you mentioned it i definitely could see that now actually that's if the, if, if that's how it works by the way i'm not sure yeah exactly. well <laughs> i just think i just think nintendo games on a nintendo console should have some form of backup yeah, apparently they, they updated that a little bit. Apparently there is a backup, but only if if your system is lost or stolen. So that's yeah, the problem. Well, but before it was just no... I mean, because they did announce that before at E3. Like, hey, you have no cloud saves. There's just no cloud saves at all, you know? And then everyone's like, oh, that sucks. All right. But now it seems like, oh, well, they... I guess they, they said, oh, well, we you do have some saves, but you can... It's a different form of cloud save backup. Yeah. If something happens, then we'll 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 take care of you. But yeah, it'd be nice <laughs> if it was just normal, you know. Yeah, it'd be nice if it was just normal. Save. Good. <laughs> At least Pokemon gets that right. Well no, there's no there's no cloud saves in Pokemon either. Well no, but I mean like in general saves. Like f like in general. Like for it to save and you can transfer it over like to the regular switch oh, the way yeah, that they're yeah, doing because yeah, yeah. that just came out today where you can't transfer it to a new switch like you can at least do that with pokemon yeah. even though you can't do cloud backup yeah so if you get a different switch in the future it's like okay well it just has to stay on that one switch that that yep. seems weird that, that seems and, weird. and that's and that's the issue that i'm trying to like get to is like that's a little bit unfortunate because you would think with the new switch coming out for animal crossing it would maybe incline people to buy that one, but what if that, three years from now there's another Switch that comes out? And that yeah. Switch is really nice. That Switch is really nice stuff. Well, well, no, with the new Animal Crossing Switch coming out, you would think, oh, people people are going to maybe, like, you know, buy that one later, and then they can just transfer their save yep. to a new one. So that that's an issue for sure, absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. I mean, it doesn't affect, because most people just keep the same, I mean, we're weirdos, you know, and we, uh, yeah. people like us will buy multiple systems, but most people just keep their same system that they got their launch system or whatever the case is so it won't affect most people but still it still affects some people because people do buy some people do buy multiple systems you know so yeah i they definitely do buy multiple i know some people have five <laughs> yeah i think john has six he said on, on the sponsor six oh my god yeah. that's I insane have, I have four. I <laughs> for me four. i just have this battery pack uh from venom gaming it works so four. well Wow. It it makes it go up to ten to twelve hours playing Breath of the Wild or any other crazy games. Well, it's I'll insane. have five once the Animal Crossing switch. Comes five. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have five once that goes on. I'll have five. Yeah, I have the Smash Brothers Switch. I have the oh, I have my launch model Switch. I have the Smash Brothers Switch. I have the new the Light Two, right? Huh? The Light Two? Don't you also have the Light? Yeah, yeah. I have the new Switch with the better battery life, and then I have the Switch Light. Yeah. So four. four. Damn, yeah, I got four. that's crazy. But I bought like fifty. And I've given them oh, away. Yeah. Give away <laughs> give away. <laughs> I've bought like a million between. I don't know who's bought more, me or Destiny. <laughs> probably Destiny. She probably bought like oh, two houses. Full. Yeah, that's true. Destiny probably has like a. Well, she's given away a lot too. And she's like, yeah. she's helped with giveaways too with other people's yeah. channels and stuff like that. She's awesome. Uh, Destiny oh, will yeah. be back next week, by the way, guys. She confirmed yep, that. She'll be right back. Yeah, she'll be back next week. So that'll be cool. We'll be back on YouTube, week. right? Yes. Yeah, hey, let's we're, go. We're back on YouTube so, next week. Yeah, we pretty much kind of agree on the Animal Crossing thing. I have nothing to dispute on that. Yeah, Animal Crossing is going to sell like crazy. <clears throat> but what do you think about Bayo 3 and No More Heroes? Bayo 3, 3 I think, is going to do 2.5 times 
Astral Chain in the same time frame. So I'm I'm gonna give it like I'm gonna give it about two point five million for Bayo three. I, I don't know about two point five in four months. Yeah. yeah okay. I I guess that's okay. I guess that's okay. that'd be easily the that would be a runaway success for Bay for the Bayonetta franchise. Easy. It definitely would be, but I don't think it's gonna be that much. I think it's gonna be less. Hey. You think it's gonna be less than that. Abaddon no, in the Abaddon, building. What's up, man? <clears throat> My bad. I'm late. No, you're good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> My bad. I'm 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 like super late. So, oh, my bad. Oh well, well what I'm saying. Uh, no, I want to. I want to know VC reasoning. I want to. My re- my reasoning is, Astral Chain sold a lot. It sold a million. But when the game first released, and I saw how many people were promoting it, it seemed like a lot more people bought the game than I expected. Especially after how successful Nier Automata was. But of course, it, like everyone said, it's on three systems near on amount of three platforms while actual change just on the switch so i guess with that logic taken into consideration as well i would think it'd be less than 2.8 i think 2.2 that'd be like the max i would see okay okay two points so b- basically double astral chain oh yeah yeah that's definitely fair. double that's fair. Astral chain. i mean and, so I mean, you think so you think her popularity in smash brothers wouldn't have an effect uh most people hate her so i don't know <laughs> She took over Smash. Uh, uh, on That's Wii. what I'm saying. People hate <laughs> the competitive, the, the, the hardcore Even competitive Nerf community. Even Nerf ultimate people hater. No, the, the hardcore competitive community. I mean, the, 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 the community at large, is they, they love Bayonetta, but the hardcore competitive oh, community. The competitive, like yeah. Bayonetta. Yeah, does not. Exactly. Yeah. Which make up a very small fraction of... But yeah, I, I think that's same, how I see it since I. I'm, I think at the same time though, I think that while people might hate her in terms of the like in terms of Smash Brothers, I think they still think that she's a cool character and they want to play her game. Like I saw zero. Uh, game's I, okay, yeah, I saw so many people playing Bayonetta one and two on the Switch because she's in Smash Brothers. Like that's how they found out about Bayonetta was Smash, and they played her game. They bought that. That was actually one of the big things. Bayonetta uh, one and two. That collection on the Switch that might be at a million units. I think that might be over a million. Nintendo has. I think it is. Yeah, Nintendo because, hasn't, uh, hasn't many, updated it. Got with it. But it was at five hundred thousand in last year. You know, so I think yeah. and that was after just a, a little bit on the market. That was early last year that it was at five hundred thousand. You know, um, yeah. so I think that it could be over that. So that means, yo, a lot of people are buying this game. You know, on the Switch, uh, it's selling mm-hmm. at a good rate. So I think that with Bayonetta three. This game is going to be so innovative. This game is going to be so different. I mean, they really want to make sure this game is, like, perfect. I think that's the reason why they're waiting to really show it, because they're going to have the perfect trailer for it. The per- and they're going to make sure that it's not very long until you get it. So they're going to announce it, and it's going to be launched, like, within, like, a five- or six-month period, just like Astral Chain was, yeah. you know? In- I hope it has very in-depth uh, weapon creation structures, just like in the previous games, how you use the different uh, crystals to create new items and weapons and stuff. I wish they just dive into that a little more and go in more, more detail with that. And same with the shop as well. That'd be pretty dope. I'm just excited to see whatever they do because they can't do no wrong. So, well, yeah. <laughs> Platinum Games does make a lot of great games, except for some of their licensed titles. But, of course, that happens sometimes if you're getting told by Activision, hey, please make this game from a Nicktoon show, please. <laughs> like, they got to make the money. They got to keep a versatile uh, game library under their belt, too. So the harder one to predict might be No More Heroes 3, but what do y'all feel about that? I wish that comes out this year, but it's not happening. I think, dude, honestly. No, it's definitely coming. He, it's he, coming this year. Suda, Suda said that's coming. It's so coming it's, this year. Uh, no More Heroes 3. I think No More Heroes 3, once again, is a million. I think that is also a million. I really think it is. I, I, and the, I can see it being a million, but I can't see more than that. I hope it's more than that, though, because I love the No More Heroes series. So I want to put this in context for you. The No More Heroes trailer that debuted at the Game Awards is over a million views. That was sick. God, that's a sick trailer. <laughs> and, and how many people watched it twice? Because I watched it three times. Oh my God. I, watched I watched it at least seven times. I watched it 40 times. <laughs> that trailer is freaking sick, dude. What about but you, you got to understand, com- compare that to how many views No More Heroes was getting before then. Yeah, nobody knew about so, No More Heroes back in the day. Like, it, it, yeah, so, so it's like, I think, I, I'm with OJ. I'm going to go a little bit higher. I'm probably going to like a million and a half. Probably a little bit more than that. So we're talking like nice. first like quarter sales, right? We're talking like, like a first, yeah, first, yeah. first month first month to four months. Yeah, basically. yeah. Okay, so like first quarter sales. Yeah, like three months or four months on the market. Yeah, a 1.1 to 1.5. I think Travis is just cool. You know, like Travis is just a cool character. Um, he's dope. He'd be a sword fighter people would like to play. The, the I would definitely bump it to two million if he gets in. If he gets into Smash, then yeah, I'll be more. But the theme of the game <laughs> is phenomenal. Like the way that they're like the, the aliens and like 
the setup is way better than any of the previous games. Like, yeah, it's it just is. interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. just flat out fascinating. I thought it was Nino Cooney, dude. Like, I thought that Nino trailer Cooney, was, I thought was still Nino. one of the best trailers of last year. Easily. Oh, yeah. That trailer is phenomenal. And I'm not even like a trailer person. Like, I get all crazy about trailers. Like, I'm just like, okay, cool. Give me the game. But that trailer <laughs> freaked me out, man. I was like, what the hell? I legit had no idea what that was, you know? So. He's a goddamn superhero. <laughs> what about you, Abaddon? We're going over some sales, man. Uh, everyone, Abaddon's here. Abaddon, how you doing today, man? What's up, y'all? What's up? Um, yeah. Oh, you just kind of cut out. After I heard Abaddon's here, it just cut why out. Am I cu- why am I cutting out? I don't know why I'm cutting out. <laughs> Are you using the browser version of Discord? No, I'm using the app version of Discord. I don't know why I'm But But um, what's going on, everybody? So you talk about sales? Yeah, uh, how... It's exclusive sales. We, and we sales talking... Things. Yeah, we talking we'll talk- about the expectations for the games that's coming out this year after how all the exclusive did well last year on Switch. Okay, so let's so we talk about ex- Switch sales too. We're gonna talk about how a port, which is everyone's against ports, a port is the best selling game on the Switch right now. Oh, you talking Mario Kart? Mario yes. Bros. U Deluxe. I think that's the one we should talk about. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm not, I mean, Mario Kart is going to be surpassed. Y'all don't understand. Mario Kart is a, is a what, what what game is going to surpass? Oh, Pokemon can. Pokemon actually. is going to pass. Uh, yeah, Pokemon can. But that's why Pokemon. Mario Kart Nine is going to come out. Not this year, in my opinion. I think it's going to come out next year. No, I think they're going to tease okay. it this year. E three. All right. Here, here, okay, I got I got a question for you for that real quick. What up? If it's not Mario Kart Nine, then what is it going to be? Because the rumors are now saying I don't believe the rumors that Brother Wild Two probably is not going to make it. Yeah, so I don't think Mario Kart Two. If it's not Mario Kart Nine, what is it going to be then? Because it ain't going to be Prime Four. Oh, no, we know it's not going to be Prime Direct. <laughs> Honestly, so, I, 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 it's a really good question that I still don't know the answer to. I'll be honest, but you know I really don't That's think why I believe the Mario happen. Kart Nine. I believe the Mario Kart Nine. Story. I think it's because that makes I sense. I don't, don't think so. To me. I actually Mario Kart Eight came out what year? Was it 2014? 2014. Yeah, but 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 Eight Deluxe is like so much a new one. Eight Deluxe is selling so much that by the time it's July after E3, after they announce Mario Listen. Kart 9, it's going to gain another 5 million units. Okay. We, you know what? You know, you, I'm telling you. know what we got to accept? Like, you know, it's be 30 million. Listen, listen, Barry. You know why Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is going to sell out? It's going to be selling the way it is? Because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe to the Switch is like GTA 5 to the PS4. Yeah, that's a, exactly. That's, that's the exact analogy. It's like it was a previous gen co- game. But it's the best-selling game right now on the PS4. So yeah. it's like, that's why I feel like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is not going away anytime soon. They're going to probably milk that for probably like another two years. But they but, can't um, milk, I don't the, think they can milk it here's, anymore. Here's I don't why, think they would. I agree with you guys, and I think that that's a good point. But the thing about it is that Mario Kart sales are, obviously, they're good, but they're very spread out. You know what I'm saying? If you launch Mario Kart 9, if Mario Kart 9 is their holiday title, they will sell 20 million. They will literally sell what they've sold for Mario Kart 8 <laughs> in that one a day. Month period. So a day. literally a billion dollars plus in a day or two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yes, they would. yes, you know what? You get Mario Kart 8's doing so well, and I get it, and that's maybe the reason. But if Mario Kart 9 drops, they literally sell 20 million copies in a month and a month and a half. If it's the holiday game for November, that game will beat out. Uh, what's it called's record? Uh, Pokemon. That game will get close to it. So you get you make billions of dollars in a small amount of time. I don't think you know? Mario Kart needs to drop in the holidays for that though. The original version of eight didn't drop in the holiday season. It dropped in it's, May. Yeah, and then it, it, that'll, that'll, that'll be a summer game. That'll be a summer it's game. But, summer but, game. But, but but what I'm saying is that you know That's Nintendo. Wanted, I guess you know Nintendo is going to have a holiday uh, a I mean, holiday Nintendo, drop. Mario Kart could be the holiday. Yeah, but I, I believe. But we. It's looking yeah, skeptical holiday. for it's looking skeptical for Zelda. It's we know it's not Prime Four. Pokemon just came out, so it has to be something else. But, it, but you, but you know what? Prime. But you know what though? Think about it though. Most of their traditionally, if you look by the Switch and just how Nintendo works, they always release their party games close to the summertime because they know that's when yeah. the kids are out to play those games. The winter time, winter break is usually for their bigger games and their more of Stories. their platformers or their RPGs. Well, Mario Kart then, is their bigger game. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. It's more about the RPG aspect or an adventure type last, game. Last year they were hardcore over the summer because it was Marvel. It was. Zelda, yeah. it was Astral Chain, it was Fire Emblem. That was all Somnium files. It was it was all oh, hardcore. Yeah. Games. So that doesn't necessarily go with what we, what you're saying. But though but okay, but all right, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, multiplayer game. 
Okay, but you, you said like for like the kids like party yeah. games and stuff like that. More so, I said more so. Okay, more so, more so multiplayer. More so the multiplayer games is summer. Multiplayer yeah. is more focused during the summertime because more. I say kids because kids are mostly out and everything. I still consider kids eighteen and nineteen years old, honestly. But well, they, um, are, they are kids. As but, but, twenty-five, I know what kids are. Like, I think like, one thing you're missing. I, <laughs> I think one thing you're missing is that they're gonna have to have a big game. Of course, because there's two other systems launching in that window as well. So in that, in so that they're case, gonna have to have a big game. So then what's the Mario, that's why I believe, Odyssey, that's why I believe it's Mario Kart, Kart Nine. But uh, who? But okay, who, 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 who Mario Party Two, and we're getting Odyssey Two. That's who, what we're getting. Who? Guys. Well, who, who do you? Who do you? Who do you, Who's to say it's not a Star Fox game? A brand new Star Fox game. Oh, that was up Star Fox <laughs> against the <laughs> PS5 <laughs> and the Xbox Series. Star Fox and Star Fox Adventures. Well, okay, okay, okay. Wait, a cool. wait a second. 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 Hold wait on. A wait. Second. I haven't done. Wait a wait wait. Wait a you second. You put Star Fox up against the PS5 in the Xbox Wait a second. 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 Okay, Wait a second. Come on now, Abaddon. Hear me? Bruh. You're gonna hear me? Are you gonna hear me out? I'm always trying to weird people out. Are you are you are you gonna hear me out? Or are you? Go ahead. Gonna... I'm hearing you. Cause that just sounds okay. crazy. <laughs> Star Fox, but basically, put it this way: a reimagined Star Fox game. And when I say reimagined, I'm talking about on a, I'm talking about on a level on how Grand Theft Auto was reimagined to Grand Theft Auto Three. <clears throat> Things of that nature. Bro, what's, what's, you want to put Star Fox against the next gen Xbox and okay. PS Five? Okay, okay, okay. Wait, oh, wait. All right, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me shut Baron down for a second. Barrett, oh, so you're, 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 sitting, you're sitting there telling me that if someone back in the day was saying Grand Theft Auto, you put a Grand Theft Auto against another game with Grand Theft Auto 2 when that was a top-down game versus Grand Theft Auto 3, if you were to do gaming history right now, that's what I'm getting bro, at. But what you're saying that doesn't you're matter. Bro. That's, no, what, 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 what I'm, no, what I'm not. telling you, what I'm telling you guys right now, you guys are def defining Star Fox by what you know it. I said completely a reimagining. What if a reimagining? I gave an example of a reimagining. I got so, you. I, I got so you. A reimagining. So if it's a reimagining, if it's a if it's a reimagining, you cannot base it on the same parameters as you've been basing the Star Fox games on. But Avanon, here's the thing: you can reimagine as much things as you want, but certain franchises have certain popularity levels. It's just that simple. So the Grand, so the Grand, so the Two, Grand Theft Auto Two had a very small base before Grand Theft Auto Two came out. Star Fox right now, <laughs> and, and we're talking about Grand Theft. I can talk about okay, I can say we're talking about Grand Theft Auto. Here's the thing, though, Abaddon. Grand Theft Auto was also a time of when it came out. It came out when open world games were not a thing, and it was an open world game in 3D. That was very, very new for the PlayStation 2 back then. You had a complete freedom. Okay. It was a new thing. You didn't see a lot of games like that. Star Fox. Even if it's reimagined to where it's an open world, whatever, we've seen games that are open world. We've seen all of that. So will it have that? It, there, it's you hard guys, to compare that same I impact. think it it's needs not mass effect. Guys, impact. You, you, uh, hold, uh, oh, okay, hold up. You I like see, Star Fox, but I don't like out. Star Fox. But time out. Time out then. You That's guys see, suicide, bro. No, hold, hold up. Hold up then. So I'm going I'm to I'm I'm bring this home now. I'm going to bring this real home now. You okay. guys seen open world games before. What about Zelda Breath of the Wild? One of the the best reimagined um, open Zelda, world though. games. It's Zelda, though. Zelda is Zelda. No. No, 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 no. But guess what? But guess what? Mass Effect game would be great. Most there's a lot of people who did not care about Zelda games before that game came out. No, and that oh, game brought true. new people yeah. to the franchise. No, you're did right. It Zelda was did it one not? of the top franchises in game. Zelda's one of the top no, franchises of all time in terms of sales. But no, yeah, okay, but no, no, in no, Breath no. To Nintendo back. fans, it, Breath of the Wild brought a new fan base over. That's what yeah. I'm saying. But. I and you can't that. deny that as a fact, and you no, can't deny Abaddon, that as fact. You're right. More people bought it, but people know Z Zelda's brand awareness is. Maybe not everybody buys the game, but my mom. Look at Zelda look what no look what look what even Nova said. Nova before said I was never into Zelda before Breath of the Wild. There's no, more people. You knew people of that, Zelda, but you knew of Zelda's brand awareness the is brand ten, of Zelda is was ten so times cute. higher than Star Fox will ever be. My mom doesn't know what the hell a Star Fox <laughs> is, but my okay. mom knows Zelda. <laughs> You okay, know, my mom, okay, my sister, guess what? my mom, See, my, my fiance, they all know Zelda. They don't play video games, but they don't know, they don't know what a Star Fox okay. is. So Brandon is much higher with Zelda. Yeah, Brandon, are, yes and no. I agree. 
Hey, Avid- Avidon, Listen, I'm with you. And I, I would and love I said, to see I said, that. I said, I said, I gave, I gave, I gave an example because you guys are are limiting towards different different things and saying it has to be a Mario game, Mario Kart. And I'm telling you, traditionally, if you go by the patterns of sales of what the Switch has, multiplayer games, summer, it makes more sense from a marketing standpoint rather than Christmas, a multiplayer game. Since 2017, Mario Odyssey. That was the big. That was the big. Mario Odyssey player. came out in October, man. I, it, was, it was a winter. It was a winter game. It came out the end of October, literally October. What, October twenty seventh. If yeah, I'm not mistaken, it, it, the fourth or something, twenty fourth or something. Like twenty fourth. That. that that was that. That's it that's seems what. like they vary though because you know last year was Pokemon. That's a that's a big multiplayer game. You know. Well, that's actually, last year Luigi's Mansion. We saw how good that did. I think that was really. Luigi's, you had you had Luigi's Mansion and you had Pokemon and Pokemon technically is a duel between more of a story base because Pokemon has a big story base. You had to kind of like progress through the story to get strong Pokemon. Pokemon yeah, yeah. People ain't Pokemon buy Pokemon, Pokemon just go through the. We you, know what they're going. But we know okay, what they're but. But okay, but what do you have to do to get to get to get all the stuff? You need to go through the story to use the Pokemon any Pokemon you want, right? They don't give a damn you how do? they gotta get it, but they want to play that multiplayer. It's, That's what they got. Tra- it. Like the whole basis of Pokemon is multiplayer, playing with your friends, <laughs> trading. Not like there's two versions of the game, so you can trade to play with friends. But you but you need to get through the game first. No, to you get don't. The you po- can trade right when you get to the open area. You can start trading and doing stuff right there. You can start trading. Okay, I so don't know how y'all turned this back into that damn poker. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, you don't have to. I didn't say a single <laughs> word, guys. Literally, literally, okay, like, literally, 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 literally let's, 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 let's be, let's be, let's be objective here to the normal person who's going to open and po- play the Pokemon game. Do, is does that person have access to get any Pokemon they want to build any team that they want just from opening the game, or does the normal person to play through the entire game? And build a build a base first, then Hold have on. a standard trade. Evan, Evan, are we splitting hairs? I just, I, I want you to, I want you to answer this. <laughs> I want you to answer this. Go ahead. You, you really hairs believe? Yes. <laughs> you really believe? You guys, you this is why I want to show, right? You guys, yeah. well, this is why I want to show. <laughs> you really believe? Because we know how this happens all the time. New Go systems ahead. come out. People get ridiculously hyped once it gets really close. Everything is. You know, blown out of proportion is hyped through the roof. You really think Star Fox will survive in an environment like that? I don't think. Like I said, Star Fox by itself, it's like honestly, it all depends. It all depends on how they make the Star Fox game. It all depends on how they market. It all depends on how they design. It all depends on the art style. There's so many different factors that go into that. It depends on the developer. All that is this. All of that to take into consideration. Okay. Okay, well, you take that in consideration, but what would you say if it was Breath of the Wild 2? Would any of that stuff you're saying right now matter? Oh, no. <laughs> exactly. Exactly to my point. That's the oh, no. point we're trying to make. But, but, but you said, but you, but, but my pretense of Some saying Some franchises that, don't need no variables. They're just but, that shit. You know but, what I mean? They just but don't you, franchise. But my, but my point to saying that was, you said what game, because Breath of the Wild 2 most likely won't happen, right? Yeah. So I offered a I offered an alternative, so is Nintendo gonna and I said reimagine. That? Is Nintendo gonna gamble with Star Fox being like this? You know, <laughs> Nintendo re-imagined? gambles. Nintendo gambles all the time with their new system. <laughs> with their holiday games, no, they don't. The past they don't gamble no, on holiday. Twenty seventeen, no. it's been. <laughs> it, 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 it no, I mean we their consoles. Thirty four years ago. Twenty eighteen, it was Pokemon and Smash. Twenty nineteen, it was Luigi. Luigi it was uh, it was Pokemon again. I mean, they haven't gambled at every single every holiday. Well, there is a Pokemon, a Mario, or well, well, a Pokemon. We got DLC this November. <laughs> In November, yeah, is the they, they do. DLC, they so. do. They do. They do. Do po- they do do Pokemon games and everything? And the Pokemon games, or Zelda. they're. they're yeah, or Zelda, or in many, in some cases, like you said, the Mario type games. But I would say, just as a standalone, of let's say a Mario Kart Nine as a standalone, I don't see that as standing up against the PS Five or the Series X. What? <laughs> By itself, what? a Mario game can stand up to it. Mario Kart no, Nine? Are you serious? By itself, stand up to it. Wow. By itself. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean. By itself. You are bugging them. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Hey, but Star Fox got came, Star Fox. Hold on. <laughs> this man just came in here talking about how yep. this is the best selling game on Switch. A system yep. that's not even three years old yet. Yeah. He came in here talking about how it's like it's this, over, it's over 20 listen, million already, and it's not going to be able to come on. Oh. Listen, 
Listen, listen, listen, listen. GTA and not to City mention, GTA. that is the re-release of the game, not the original. Yeah. Listen, <laughs> all, all, I'm, all, I'm, all I'm just offering is just basically after you play Mario Kart and everything, I'm looking at, well, it also depends what's coming out for the PS5. Like, the PS5, what they're dropping with that, and the series. Well, we X. know Halo's going to be there, so you got to have yeah. something as big as Halo Let, to let's not, let's not, like, sugarcoat this with, with the, the <clears> PlayStation <throat> 5 and the next Xbox. They're going to sell like crazy. They're going to be very yeah. good. They're all going to sell well, but what can Nintendo do to also keep up their momentum? I think Mario Kart definitely keeps plenty of momentum. People will buy the hell out of Mario Kart. People will buy a Switch and they'll buy well, an Xbox One or whatever. I just don't well, think well, okay, now. okay, but you know, but you know what though? Anyway. Let's 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 address one fact about this Mario Kart sales that we're not talking about. A lot of those Mario Kart sales are Switch bundles, too. No, they're, so wait, Switch a bundles. lot of those Mario Kart sales are people who rebought the game, like I did. No. Yeah, <laughs> and, I, and I did too. <laughs> and Switch bundles. No, from what I understand, Mario Kart sales. I mean, you, you have the Switch bundle sales. Yes, that that's true. But the game, in terms of like sales on Amazon and games on Best Buy, it's easily one of the best selling games, even independent of the bundle. It's one of the best. What what, games what did uh, Mario Kart? What, what did Mario Kart, Kart end on the Wii U? Was it still eight million to end it on? Eight Wii million. U? No, wait, was it eight million? Yeah, eight, eight it was point, eight million. Eight point, we are eight over point, twenty point. million ever done. I, I know this. 22. 22. We only million. did eight, bro. 22 million. So I only eight million, million of those people rebought. I'm gonna say all eight million rebought the game. And that's, 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 that's far fetched to say. That's exactly what happened. That's probably, that's probably not what happened. Everyone's gonna find nine on the same day. So what about the rest of the people that bought the game? <laughs> those are not bundles, okay? They're not bundles. Listen, 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 listen. All I'm saying 13 is 13 million are not damn bumps. All, 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 I'm, all, I'm, <laughs> all, I'm, all I'm saying is Mario Kart, Mario Kart um, nine. I'm not saying it won't sell. I'm not saying it won't sell good in um, December per se. I'm just saying that in terms of placement, product placement, it will have a better run in the summertime. That's just my my take on I, that. I just I don't think any game has a better run in the summertime than holiday, like November game will always do better than non-November game. Even if it was Breath of the Wild. If Breath of the Wild launched in November, it Mario Kart, in November. Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in 2017 outdid Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey. Yeah. yeah. Point proven. Exactly. <laughs> no, well, the thing about that, though, is that that's, that's Mario it. Kart. We're not, compar- exactly we're not comparing different games. That's different franchise appeal. I'm talking about placement <laughs> of said game. A game in holiday... In regards of... Yeah, what to, I'm talking about any game that's done that goes to sale in the holiday mm-hmm. will tend to sell better than games that don't sell in the holiday. That is just and that's and just you fact. and my, oh okay and my and my whole thing my whole reason reason why I'm playing I'm saying that is the reason why I say it'll do better is because you put it out towards the summer people are gonna buy it in the summer and holiday both no, in I'm, both seasons. No, I'm talking about rate of sales and uh, rate sale. Mario Kart's rate of sales was not <laughs> it's not amazing. It's never amazing. There's games that sell faster than Mario Kart, but Mario Kart always catches up to it as an evergreen title. When you Mario Kart, Mario Kart has only been the top one on the Wii on the Switch, like consistently. No, what I'm no, it, it's one of the what I'm saying is that the game sales, it's one of the consistent, mm-hmm. but the rate of sales of Mario Kart is mm-hmm. just it's good, but it could have been better if they were launched in holiday. Because one, you have more systems out, so what if more systems are out, so more people can buy the game. Holiday mm-hmm. games always sell like games that put, come out during the holiday always sell better during the holiday it's just so so you're saying that if mario kart 8 deluxe was sold during the holiday of 2017 instead of may it would have done better absolutely it would have launched better so so systems. that's a lot of months in between may to november that's what i'm saying like it's like it's so it's it, you it, momentum it's, it's, it's so, y'all gotta understand more of course I'm, more more units are being pushed during november and december than you know july june yeah. july august you know what i'm saying so it can potentially it probably would have did a little bit better um that's not saying that it would have right. been drastically right. higher than what it is now right. been sales, at most right. one point would be better. Like, if you compared the first like let's just say we compared the first two months if the game came out it came out in may right when or it came out very end of april so April, yeah. May, June, the first two months of the game sales. So you compare, you compare and to, you compa- okay. And if that came out compared to the pace of sales, if the game came out in November and the first two months yeah. and you compared the data, which one would have been higher? November. If it launched in November, because there would have been more systems. And, yeah, that's true. And there it's the holiday. Kids yeah. get stuff for holidays. 
kids Christmas, of course and that's just a bigger time period like all those switch bundles of mario kart all the but, games, but, game sales in november are always higher than game sales in the beginning of the year that's just yeah. it's just how it is with game sales games that launch that's why developers wait all and the it, way it's till the end to release their games because they know I, it's going to sell better like call of duty or whatever the case is i get you some get scared and delay them because it gets too crowded <laughs> so. i i get you i get you I, I i get you but i also i guess i also see it in a sense of you know during the, during the summertime like they also watch the spike of when it's gonna be more activity because when you sell mark Kart nine or you do sell things during the summertime you can sell um online bundles like online packages to get more people to pay for the online service and things of that nature and well, get more well, subscription go ahead well uh, that okay so to, to take your point let's say we just move mario kart 9 to surprise it comes out in august whoop de doo it comes out in august mm-hmm. We already established that Star Fox just ain't that ish. Yeah. That we so did. if Mario <laughs> Kart Nine comes out in August and it's no Zelda, what do you put in November as a Super holiday? Super Mario Party Two and Mario Odyssey Two. I'm telling you guys. Get out of here. Party 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 you know, get out of here. They're both gonna drop. I'm telling Stop. you. Guys, it's gonna Stop. Stop it. Uh, Stop it. Gonna happen. Stop I'm putting it. that magic in the air. Stop it. it now. It's in the air. It's happening. V V C. Yamoto's like. VC, I'll get the L book. And Mario Party. VC, no I will after. VC, Wait, let's go. Easy L-book. money. Super Easy Mario money. Odyssey two. If that, that's obviously a big game that they can put out in November. Easy, Easy money. I don't think Odyssey two is coming. I don't think it's coming though. People yeah, I don't. Are I don't buying think Super Mario Party like already, and it it's it's horrible. Mario Party. I literally played it for two hours because not because I have no friends, but because the game is boring. Bro, I have, <laughs> what? I have no friends. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh my I have, listen, I have, I have, I have, I have Mario Party 4 on my GameCube right here. <coughs> the best Mario Party, hands down. Four. Three is great, two is great, one is great. Who and you cares? can say six is good, but four is the best. <laughs> the TK I digress. <laughs> All this Mario Party talk is putting me to sleep. Bro. Hey, I don't care yo, about yo, Mario Party. Yo, I'm letting you know, it, Mario Party 2, Super Mario Party 2 comes out this year. Next time there's a PE podcast around the time, I'm going to have a notebook. It's going to say W for me. <laughs> so, do you think that's the big? You think that that's gonna be the big holiday game? Is Super Mario Party Two? Super and, Mario, and Mario Party Two and Odyssey. Honestly, because so let's be real here, Mario 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 isn't coming out this year, and I really don't think the Mario Kart Nine is coming out this year. It's gonna be well, revealed in E Three. Are you sure they're gonna already have another Odyssey ready to go? It's been so you years. expect Odyssey yeah. Two to be out before Mario? It got when announced. Mario Kart Eight came out in twenty fourteen. It, it got announced in January, which we didn't even expect it to be announced at that January direct before the Switch was even released yet. No, uh, and it we, came out no, that same year. No, we did because we saw it in their October presentation. Okay. Barely. We didn't get to see enough of it. I and mean, we didn't know what was going to happen. But that's not we the point. We knew it was point... a new Mario game. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, you didn't know it was a new Mario game? But you make it like they weren't like working on the next game immediately after because there was literally no DLC aside from Air Balloon mode. Well, like, some they happy. But the, the thing about it is that, dude, the Mario Kart team has been working on a new Mario Kart game for like six years. Mario well, Kart I'm going to put it to games. you like this, man. Look, some some games are just due. We do for a new Splatoon. We're due for a new Mario Kart. I think Those we are, are due, due for a new oh, Star Fox, Splatoon though. 3? What about Splatoon? Splatoon? A Mass Effect style. I think, I think Splatoon they would. 3? I think I think they would because Splatoon is a 10 million seller now. So I think they would do something like with Splatoon 3. I think they're going to announce that. I think Splatoon that. 3 has so, much, yeah. has so much power now that they would so, do that. So, Splatoon announced at E3 or announced during the direct and then launches in the holiday of this year? That could be possible. I but I don't, I don't see the Mario Kart. They, they, they can keep milking the sales of the 8 Deluxe. Like, why would they not? Like, they can announce 9 at E3 and then people who haven't bought 8 Deluxe will buy 8 Deluxe. You know what I think? What's up? I'm starting to think that we need some more new Nintendo franchises. Facts. It's not easy. I mean, make, it's not easy getting. I mean, they've been trying to do popular. that. So yeah, yeah I, mean, I know they have. But it's like open world Captain Falcon F Zero game where you can run around as Captain Falcon, do quests, and then do races as well. What Combat the, scenes, you get the Falcon punch and all that. Like, come the, on. The thing like, about it though, guys, is that like getting a franchise. The majority of franchises that sell huge. It is 0.01% of the video game industry. Like, we hear about all these crazy sales, right? No games sell like this. To be a mega franchise, it's so rare. It's like hitting the lotto sometimes. Yeah. Very few games sell 10 million yeah. units. Barely no games sell. It's 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 yeah. it's rare. It's very, very rare like, for any game to yeah. sell 10 million. 
And literally and no games. Splatoon got you know? to that 10 million, so it's certified so, a major franchise. When we talk about games like, oh, this game is a <clears> bigger <throat> franchise, dude, it's really hard to make franchises sell a lot. It's not an easy thing. Most games don't even get a million in sales. Most games, most games float around somewhere in the hundred thousands of sales. And they, but like big games, like you'll be lucky if you can um, get your game to 10 million, but the, most games don't. I mean, Borderlands 2, it'll eventually get there, but that sold 8 million. Look at how many platforms it's on. Look at how much the marketing they had. Like, it's very difficult. So yes, it'd be great if Nintendo had more franchises, but the chances of them creating more franchises yeah. and those franchises selling and being huge, massive things are very hard. It's very hard to do. You know, Arms, that was new. Astral Chain, that was new. You know, and are these games going to, you know, sell 10 million? Probably not. You know, those games aren't going to get there. But Splatoon, they fostered Splatoon, and that game sold nowhere near 10 million on the Wii U, and they brought it back for the Switch, and that it, it's almost there. You know, so maybe that is tr transitioned into a huge franchise. Heck, even Fire Emblem, that's one of the best ones. That's, you know, going on 3 million. So it's very difficult for games to sell, to be, become blockbusters for holiday it's not easy, you know. It's it's, it's definitely. Not I'm easy. I'm just I'm just calling it now. I think it's going to be the I call I'm gonna call it the two piece combo. Uh, it's going to be Bayonetta three and Mario Kart now. I feel like Bayonetta is going to come out around I think, Halloween. I think I think, Bale, I think I think Bayonetta three is going to be the game. Honestly, I, I think, think Bayonetta three is going to come out of Halloween, Mario Kart, and that's what's going to be. That would be good. That's a good one two punch, man. <clears throat> Bayonetta and Mario Kart. I like it. <clears throat> I like it. If, if, I think I know, think we're able to. But you, you know, you know, a game that I, I'm happy that a lot of people get, get get to go ahead and experience tomorrow. Yes, Fantasy Star Online too. Yes. Yes. But you got you guys. You guys yes. get to get get to get to experience some greatness. Yes, I'll be streaming it tomorrow, so I'm really excited. Oh, nice, yeah, nice, uh, nice. I'm, I'm really excited to play the game. I, I haven't played I, since I, the. Uh, I've been streaming it these past few days. Oh man, I yeah. missed that game. It's it's great. I've I, I've been watching you stream. It's fantastic. So. That that game, yo, I'll say I'll say this, uh, not not a spoiler, but quote me on this. That game has easily one of the best character um creations out of yeah, any video game I've played. Easily, easily one of the best character creation. Like the amount of detail you can go into character creation is insane. Yeah. Which game is that? Fantasy, Fantasy Star, Star Online too. Two. Okay. Yeah, well, that, that game, Code Vein, God Eater 3, a lot of good games with customization for your characters. Really good stuff, too. Speaking of future, futuristic, though, <laughs> what about the PS5 and the Xbox Series X? I'll be honest. Uh, I want to continue talking about Star Fox. I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I, I got something to say about this. I well, really I mean, well, we're, well, before you say that, I want to preface this by saying, okay, this coronavirus thing is affecting lots of people. It looks like it might yeah. even affect... The PS4. Make sure you guys PS5. wear goggles. It comes from it's it's comes through the eyes. The, the virus. I thought it was breathe. Yep. You breathe through it. It breathes. They well, said from, from the eye and touching too. Yeah, Maybe. it travels from the eyes. Maybe eyesight. So wear goggles. E e either, That's why like most of them have like entire thing cover their whole face. Either and they don't way, get sick and take um, care of them. The coronavirus looks like it's going to be affecting the PlayStation Five and the next Xbox uh, releases. But I, Baron wanted to talk about the next gen. So feel free, Baron. Go ahead. In terms of what you what your thoughts are on it so far, yeah, because I think I think Nintendo said the coronavirus is affecting the production of Switch right now. They did. So it is, it is. So that's kind of crazy. Um, so I know this is has to be a. It's a affecting nightmare. the outer worlds too, actually. The outer worlds, uh, uh development the team. Yep. Yeah. It's got the so I know this has to be a pain in the ass with Sony and Microsoft right now too, because <laughs> they got to make deadlines and stuff for these new systems. So it's, but. I don't know. I, I think I think things are going to play out a little bit differently. Than I believe um, some people just really believe that PS5 is just going to curb stomp Microsoft into dust again. I don't think that's going to happen. I don't see that happening from what from what we know so far. I, I just don't see it happening, man. I, when was the last time someone who had an Xbox bought an Xbox game? If they have Game Pass. Lots of people buy Xbox games, right? Well, like, I mean, Gears yeah, Gears, five, Gears 5 did very well, and that was on Game Pass day and date, and it still sold well. So, And it's Gears. So, I mean, that's, pre that's pretty indicative but, of what Microsoft was trying to do, and it, and it worked. So We have to change but, the way that we think about game sales, though, because Microsoft is yeah. literally going for game, like, your $120, <coughs> right? so... Or your hundred dollars or whatever. So that's what they want to do. That's their thing. We can't think of it of traditional. Oh well, this game is sold this much in MPD. Well, they're not looking for that. They're looking for digital sales. They're looking for Game Pass sales. You know that that's what they're doing. <clears> yeah, they they looking for that, but they got yeah. 
they got the icing on the cake with how you know Gears Five did do well, very uh, physical copies as well. So um, obviously, there's people still there that still will buy Xbox games if the quality is there. Um, and I think them ha- launching with Halo Infinite is such a big thing that people are really downplaying people because are downplaying it's, it's so people, good. It's so good. People, pe- this, that Halo community is salivating so bad you for know a great why people game. Are downplaying it. Because it's Microsoft. Well, because there's rumors that this game is, Dude, it's, it's kind of yeah, it's shaping up to be not ready and kind of bad at, in certain aspects. Like I said, just just insider talk that I've heard here and there about the game. Just I got you, but not being ready and like they're just they're trying and they're praying and hoping. But when it launches, things just might be a bit rough. They're stretched, right? Xbox One, you got to make it run on the uh, base, the base Xbox. Xbox. You gotta make Not it, even the S. Yeah, you got to make it run on the S. You got to make it run on the X. You got to make it run on the PC. You got to game pass everything. You got to online. I mean, there's just so much yeah. stuff with this game. Hey. And, you know, maybe that's some of the issues that why people are kind of trying to downplay it. I don't know. You got to axe support for the base Xbox. They just got to axe support for that, at least. Because at least the know, F- you know what they else? can't they can't they can't do that yet that's that would be suicide they can't, they can't do, do that yet. yet not yet you know what I mean? that kills their game pass that kills their whole game pass thing right because it's like yeah, oh yeah then you can get the game can. but not on the base xbox so even if somebody is on base xbox and they're paying for game pass well no 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 no. you you, you don't get that that doesn't make sense you know that that's horrible so hey you know what is on game pass final fantasy 15 for pc <laughs> That's yeah, many, that's too many gigabytes download, man. Yeah, it's eighty. It's eighty three gigabytes. I, I, just thought more, I thought it was more than that, actually. It's eighty three gigabytes on on for, for Game Pass. I think it's without DLC. <laughs> that's, without PC. The, that's that's without the royal. That's without the royal content. I think more than likely because yeah. I I got I got it on PC. The royal yeah. content adds a lot, a lot. more. The game's really <laughs> at least though. sixty gigabytes at least. Yeah, yeah I'm not gonna play it. I, I tried so, it. <laughs> So how y'all feel about the uh, Sony side? How do you feel about the reports of Sony is waiting on to see what the price of the Xbox? You know they saying? are. Yes, freaking, scum, <laughs> freaking scumbags, dude. You know they you are, wait. dude. Yo, they're sitting just like, oh yes, oh yes, waiting, waiting for Microsoft to say their you know, price. Like, Sony, you guys know that meme, uh, scumbag Steve. Sony reminds yep. me of scumbag Steve. Like the, the guy in that meme, you know what I'm saying? Scumbag yeah. Steve. You guys I don't think the that? chat knows. I don't think the chat, the chat knows doesn't scumbag know Steve. scumbag Steve. Like that's what they remind me young. of. Like a little sc- too young. Yeah, scumbag Steve meme. That's that's what Sony is. <laughs> this guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sony at times remind me of scumbags. As uh, you know, Steve. Oh, oh you yeah, want to oh, release or, a new they, system? I'm gonna wait for you first. You know what I'm saying? Like they're just like. Scumbag they, Steve, just can you just like, talk? Classic. <laughs> They're like Swiper off your favorite show, Dora the Explorer. <laughs> it's definitely your favorite show still. <laughs> Every morning. I'm just saying, like, Sony is always... <laughs> Sony always be doing some sneaky scumbag stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, when it comes to, like, launching a system and all that. and they, they just be doing Scumbag Steve type of stuff. You know, like, like oh, makes for the Xbox for DRM or makes for the Xbox for used games. Has has their own plan, but acts it right before the show started. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's like the meme with Scumbag Steve. You know, so I mean, that's that's how I feel about Sony. Like, that's how I feel. Like, oh, want to press the system at 500? We were gonna do it too, but then we saw that you did it first and then stopped it. Like, they always trying to say just instead of just doing the, like instead of just like launching their system and doing what they want to do and talk about, they're sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting for Microsoft and stuff. That's what I said earlier. I said, yo, Microsoft and Sony, they should announce the prices of their systems when pre orders go pre orders go live. When the pre-orders go live, that's when you announce, which is about, a, you can do that up to a month before. Just a month before the system launches, let us know the price. Because then you don't have right. somebody be doing scumbag E3 stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. And I, and here's the thing. I think that's what Microsoft is going to do. <laughs> I feel like they're going to do that. They have no pressure to to release, to, to give a price. Because once again, Sony's not going to be at E3, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. But um, they're not going to be there again. So there's not going to be any pressure for them to release their price. So I believe they're going to hold it up it probably close, as, close to the last minute as they can. <laughs> my favorite, one of my favorite scumbag Steve ones is makes fun of your job, unemployed. <laughs> No, no. It, it, for me, it makes fun of your job. Gets laid off next day. <laughs> Damn. 
scumbag Steve. Uh, anyway, um, all right. Well, is there anything else you guys want to talk about tonight? Any other topics? Avidon, I don't know. Uh, you nah. were here earlier. Any I just topics? don't. I I don't throw in PSO. Okay. Yeah, PSO is gonna. Be well, good. I do want to mention that if Star Fox were to come back, I think they need to go back to the adventures formula. Continue with good. Oh, shut your play. mouth, boy. And you gotta go with a Mass Effect style of communications, talking to people, and you gotta start the game off with getting a crew together. And when you pick each member of the crew, you gain new missions for your story, for your main quest. So you want and Mass every- Effect Star Fox? You literally just explained Mass Effect. <laughs> Mass Effect combined with Star Fox combined with Legend of Zelda with the dungeons because that's how Adventures was basically. You didn't even play hey. anything unique. You just explained Mass Effect. <laughs> you said, but Star Fox. Yeah, so there'll be the airplane missions with the R wing, and then there'll be the missions where you're running around getting gems and all whatever you're looking for, whatever items, just like adventures, and then there'll be the talking scenario. You explained exactly oh what Mass God. Effect is like to the T. I know, I know, but that's what it needs to do in order to succeed, guys. Let's like, be hey, real here. Hey, 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 Falco, which option should I pick? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be evil, Fox. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, hey, hey, look, I don't, yeah, I, mean, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I think Star Fox needs to go the route of Vanquish. That's why I feel. <laughs> really? You just went there. Hey guys, slide out of Imagine like, like Slippy is like, is he have like, he has like jet propulsion on? His- <laughs> And since he's a frog, he can't even fly in them properly. That'd be a funny cutscene. Come on. Really want to see animals boosting around. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. Uh, you went there. This would be hilarious. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. <laughs> oh, that would be dope. I'm with you. That would be dope as hell. Oh, oh, you know what we need? We need a. Uh... <laughs> We need Geist to return. That's what we need. Triple A Knights? We don't, it's no, no. It's Geist. We need oh, Geist. Man, nobody want that whack ass damn uh, GameCube game. Get out of here. Imagine a brand new Geist. <laughs> and no one here knows what that is. I know what Geist is. I played it. I know oh, it was a GameCube know, game. It was on GameCube. It's made by Nintendo, though. Yeah, so we said, Nintendo yeah it, so we it said, was. It, it was a failed experiment. Star we Fox know. Romance confirmed. Three <laughs> options confirmed. <laughs> See, that's why I'm saying people would buy it, though. I wouldn't buy it for that. Oh I'd buy God, it for the <laughs> Are we see, to trans- now, y'all, now, y'all re- now y'all realizing how unmarketable Star Fox is. Like, but when you put it into any other idea, you're like, that, <laughs> it's just silly, right? Because you got man. animals. Like, why Star Fox great? Vanquish would be dope, bro. <laughs> I'm not trying to see Fox do it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, maybe that'll be the multiplayer mode. Oh my god, uh, is that what you said? Uh, Fox, like, Fox Man next <laughs> game. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't know. Like, Crazy. I, I, I just think that probably their best bet is to go like the Starlink route, mm-hmm. you know, but just not the toys, obviously. But like those genres. And not with just, characters that aren't Star Fox characters. I mean, maybe they take like the Star Fox Adventure out, maybe, and just expand upon that, you know? Yeah, because the only take thing about Star that, Fox that, Adventures and mix like, it with yeah. Vanquish. Bam! <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, you could, you could do that. You could, you could, you could. That that's that's an option. But I mean, I think at the end of the day, do people like playing as animals like that? Is that something that that's gonna get you? People play Animal Crossing for thousands of hours. It's a different type of game, though. You know, it's, you're playing as an animal. That's true. You're, you're right. You're, you're, but you go. You be with other animals. Let's and, talk about like yeah. Okami. Remember Okami when that game like flopped and like I was like, why isn't people buying this game? This is like game of the year quality game. Like nobody bought it on the PS2. I mean, yeah, it ended up obviously being ported five million times. That ended up selling over a million. You know. Yeah. But nobody like, wanted to play as no painting. You played as a dog. I know. I'm just saying. It, it just so, reminded me of a painting. That's well, all, you that's paint all in the right. game. Like that's a kind of like your attacks is like a paintbrush. Yeah, yeah, so nobody wanted to do that. That's no, why I think it was a came. dog. I think it was a problem with a dog. People don't want to play as a dog. You think it was a dog? I yeah, think it was what? just the painting aspect, really. I believe that's what. No, I it think wasn't. it was the dog. Act. People just don't want to play as animals. Like you never like any game that's like an animal. You're never. Oh, y'all remember? Like, y'all remember that game, Deadly Creatures? <laughs> when you yeah, played as nobody a... bought that crap. Like playing as like a scorpion. Like I don't want to play as a damn scorpion. Yeah. Like I think that's that's one of the issues. Like obviously, you play Pokemon. That's not say you're, 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 you're a human. But... You're, human, you're controlling and, and animals. You're controlling yeah. animals like like a yeah, pet, like a normal pet. You know, like, you know? yeah. Like Makes people, sense. people don't want to play as the animal. I mean, there's been games where you play as animals, and none of them. I don't remember 
Animal Crossing is like the only game. And really, you play as a villager. You're a human. You're a human. You're not an animal. You're a human. Well, yeah. that's a good point. Like, they, they, they don't have that. Yeah. In Skyrim, you could play as a couple different beast-like characters, anamorphic characters. There's that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's true. There's a full animals, though. But they're, so. hu- they're humanoid. Yeah, not, humanoid. Like, yeah, they're humanoid characters. Now, I'm not saying that... Like, you know, animal like, characteristics, right? I mean, because there's games like where there's like yeah, cat, cat girls. just pure animals. Yeah, I'm talking just like, yeah. a, like a dog. Like you're straight up like a dog. Woof, woof, woof. Like you're like a dog. You know <laughs> or you can't like talk. You know, like Okami, the dog doesn't like Amaterasu doesn't talk. You have something talking yeah. for you, you know? Uh, yeah, the little, the little motherfucker, I call him. <laughs> He's so annoying. <laughs> wow. wow. Yeah, that's the one drop of the night. But. And then, and then, oh, like, yeah. yeah, there was like a dog. I remember there was like a dog game, like a dog's life. People, I mean, I think there was like an Air Bud game too. Hey, like we used to play the ten dogs back in the day. Yeah, oh. that's true. But you were, tra- but you played as you, and you were training. Training, them, though. you know, you <laughs> were you. It you feels like you're all playing yeah, as a dog too, trying to help them j- jump over the. The different things. No, you don't control the dog. You you don't ever have control of the dog. You're just the dog is. It's like a you know you're interacting with the dog. You know, but you don't control the dog. Yo, bump that. Just give me a give me give me a new Donkey Kong game. Just like Xenoblade. Yo, that's what we need. A new Donkey. I was. I I literally. It's funny you guys said that. I mentioned that in the recent interview. I said we need to reimagine Donkey Kong, more of a 3D aspect Donkey Kong. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tired of 2D Donkey Kong. Yeah, I'm done with the country right now. Just give me the Donkey Kong world. I'm done with the yeah. country. I, I would take a Donkey Kong, like a world type of game for sure, over like a 2D Donkey Kong at this point. Yeah. I don't see that happening this year, though. Yeah, maybe not this year. Because I don't know. I'm Rex- telling you guys, Mario Party 2, Super Mario Party 2, and Odyssey 2. It's happening. Yeah. You they shut re- up about that. <laughs> they announce it, and it happens. It didn't get delayed. None of it. It just happened after they announced it, so. I expected an E3. We're going to hear one of them by then if we didn't hear one of them before then. So, you know, yeah, people are mentioning Donkey Kong. You do play as, a, you know, a, a Donkey Kong gorilla. I'm calling it now Donkey Kong World. Debuts this year. Surprise. Donkey Kong Yo, that would be dope. I'd be, That'd be, dope. I'd be completely down for that. That would be crazy. I'd buy day one. Yeah, I'd be down for that. That game would be worth the $60. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be down for it. Um, I think also, like, you know, some people were mentioning uh, some other types of games. Uh, that you play as animals. I think somebody said like Wolf and like Twilight Princess, you do play as Wolf Link, but that's just like a gimmick yeah. within the game. You know? Yeah. It's just <sighs> yeah. Sushi Strikers 2, Alonzo says, is coming for the holidays. <laughs> that game flopped. I don't know about Yeah, that. it was five dollars uh, about a year ago. Yeah, that game flopped. I don't know about all that. But all right, I guess we're going to wrap it up for this one here. We've pretty much uh, exhausted our topics and it's pretty late in the East Coast boys. I'm going to let you guys go to sleep. So uh, we're going to do some outros. Uh, VC, where can they find you at, my man? Uh, y'all can find me at, uh, as I type it in, since I didn't know I was next, y'all are gonna have to wait a few seconds for me to finish my sentence, youtube.com slash VCIPZ, it should be in the chat now if you don't see it already, I do live streams, gameplay, music, all different kinds of stuff, so if you're interested in any of that content, come through, subscribe to the channel, and by the way, we, I will be on the Spawncast this weekend, actually, uh, it'll be 9pm, I know, it's, it's, I'm very grateful once again. Thank you, John, for the invitation. I really do appreciate it. And uh, Are you yeah, watching. I got. I gotta just give my thanks. Tell you never know. You never know. Go on, tell them. I'm the one who got I, you I, on I, the wrong. I, I didn't get you on that. Damn. 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 Hey, 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 hey! If you were in in the inside and I just I don't know it. Oh, OJ, OJ. There was one thing I wanted to talk about. I, BC yeah. for real. I wasn't. I'm. I'm just joking. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. Thank. You. <laughs> Even if you weren't joking, I, I I would still say thank you anyway. <laughs> but I don't think that's why. But yeah, if it is, I, I he wanted you on. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah, He's man. You, 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 you're dope, man. You put out dope content, so keep yeah, making it dope. Well, and and the streams are doing really well too with everything as well. And you were saying what? Uh, what were you gonna say, Baron? I think Baron wanted to add one more thing. Oh yeah, Baron was saying something. Yeah. Oh oh, uh, I forgot to talk about this, but it'll be quick. Uh. The Evo lineup, Mario, uh, oh, yeah, MK11 Evo. getting shunned out yeah, of Evo. Let's talk about that I can't quick. believe I got shunned. Yeah, Evo, <laughs> dude, I totally forgot about that. Evo, yeah, yeah, what the hell, man? Like, it was no, no more, no Mortal Kombat 11. And that was one of the best viewed games from last year. I think it's politics, man. That's, that's what Sonic Fox said. Bro, that's, that's definitely not an interest thing because people play the hell out of that game. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah. I was so shocked. I mean, you got, you got, you got, you got MVC too. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a, that's a, that's an invitational. It's a bit different, but yeah, that's cool. I know. Bringing that back. Yeah, it's just for tonight, probably. But I, I'm grateful. And uh, I've been doing a lot of content lately, and I, I gained 500 subs in three months, and that's just from the ground up. So yes, that's so. pretty insane. And uh, I am going to be streaming the Dragon Ball Fighters tournament. The World Tour tournament's happening. That's in Paris. I'm streaming on Saturday and Sunday from 3 to 8 on both days. So it'll be two five-hour streams. So that's going to be insane. Can't wait for that because we've seen Goku. It's going to be dope. Dragon Ball Fighters World Tour tournament. It's going on in Paris. It's the top 16 uh, finalists after multiple tournaments. They're all going to be together, top 16 in the world, and uh, it's going to be insane. And we're going to be seeing the reveal of Ultra Instinct Goku, too. The sixth or seventh Goku in the game. So. Goku. Yeah. I, I'm okay. still look. I'm still kind of shocked about this. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> hey, MK11 should have been there. I um, mean, Samurai Showdown is in the lineup over MK11. That that's is insane. They got, that's because they got a cut, a uh, check cut again. <clears throat> yeah, but 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 it's like how can you have that and Grand Blue? Like you can't have both. Grand Blue got a check. Absolutely got a check cut for it. Oh, but that's what I'm saying. I feel like you need one or the other. There's two no, sword fighting. If they games. cut, if they cut in checks, they cut. <laughs> they'll take their 10k. If, if if a company says, "Hey, you can have this game, and here's 10k," you know, because that's really nothing for these companies to, to give them 10k to put their game on the main stage. Because you know, when you have that game on the main stage, and all those people are watching, you know about probably two or three k people will buy it that night. A few thousand will buy it that night just because of how hype it looks. That's what happens if it's a business practice that's been going on. I've been talking to people; yeah. they cut checks for them, and that's why you see Undernight and Birth. <laughs> over Mortal Mortal Kombat sold five billion more times, but they will cut them checks to make sure that they're mm -hmm. on the main stage. And if, if and if MK isn't cutting them a check, if Netherrealm isn't cutting them a check, then there's no need to have that game. Yeah, that's just still yeah. insane because the two most active fighting games right now it has to be MK11 and Smash. Yeah, and Dragon Ball Fighters. That's there's still a lot of people playing that game. Yeah, Tons of people. Not yeah, yeah it's a lot of people playing fighters, fighters, but not as many that was. Yeah, it, MK11 over the last. It, sw year. it swallows that, that the fighters number, honestly. That's well, just. I don't, I don't know the Twitch numbers and all in terms of like streaming and all that, but I know that I mean yeah, sales well, numbers. Well, I'll see. The, I'll see the numbers for the stream on Saturday and Sunday when I stream uh, the tournament. So we'll see. We'll see if those people come through because people were in my stream like crazy for the Evil Japan 2020, well, and that is wild. T, one of the best players I've ever seen. Such a great Pac-Man man. It makes me want to play Pac-Man, but every time I touch Pac-Man. Pac I I can't. I fall apart. Like it just doesn't work. I like Batman. Batman's a good character. He, he's actually much better in Ultimate than he was in. Super yeah, way Ball. better. Yeah, he's such a better, better Nair. His aerials are so good his, in this game. His aerials are good. He has power. His grab. They fixed his grab. It's much better. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, Pac-Man's actually a good, legit good character in the game. That, and that's what's cool about yeah. Smash Brothers. There's a lot of characters that are quirky but good. You know, like weird characters to use, but they're they're good. Like whereas the quirky characters in Smash Four, they all sucked. All the all the characters yeah, Palutena used to suck, and I used to use Palutena. Now she's yeah. great. Yeah. Palutena was a kind of was I'm gonna say a weird kind of, but like Pac Man, you know, like Rob, these type of characters. Duck I mean, Hunt, Rob was Duck okay. Hunt. Yeah, Duck Duck Hunt's kind of still trash, but you know, he's a better. Duck than, Hunt's I guess he's better than what he was. Better now, at least he's a little bit better now. But yeah, Duck Hunt's still bad. But I think like Rob, Rob's better than what he was in Smash Four. Even though Rob was so oh, yeah. Smash 4, he's better. Yo, I picked up Rob the other day and I I smacked Dank. Like they like they did like that's, immediate pick up. That's not that's not saying any Dank. Well, he, he plays Rob. Right. So. Dang just got the and, game. and this is like the last time he streamed, or is it a two weeks? Yo, why, why, Dang why, 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 why are you bragging? Why are you bragging about beating Dang? Yeah, like, why are you bragging about uh, beating Dang as if that's something? Uh, that's like, like, trying to, like brag. I'm, I'm just trying to be like bro to bro. No, just, ah. <laughs> 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 Look at Dank in the chat. Anyway, um, Darren, where, where can they find you at, Darren? We do got play again sometime, Dang. It's been a minute. Um, y'all can find me. You can find me. Oh, I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, y'all y'all can find me on Twitter. You know what I mean? At the Emperor, you know. Come watch the, you know, the Sony peasants just cry tears or whenever I tweet. It's a beautiful thing. Okay. And maybe you'll see and maybe you'll see OJ argue with somebody for two hours. So you may see that. <laughs> I, I, only if it's somebody that only hey look, I only argue with people when I'm my, when I'm editing my videos and I'm done and I just got nothing to do, I'll type back. But if it's not that, then I'm just and like I said, I don't go back and forth with crazy trolls. Like if it's a crazy troll. Valentine. 
I don't go back and forth with them. But uh, uh, make sure you guys follow my man, Baron. And then um, also, uh, Avadon, where can they find you at, my man? You guys can find me on YouTube and Twitter, backslash Avadon Smith, A-V-I-D-A-N-S-M-I-T-H. And also uh, the second channel tomorrow, 9 a.m., new interview up, uh, Beats for Breakfast. Just literally, as it's spelled, Beats for Breakfast on YouTube and on Twitter as well. Um... Since you guys are here, tomorrow's episode, I interviewed RGT85. We talked about retro gaming and old school hip hop. So we wanna, if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out that video tomorrow, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Nice. Nice. Awesome. All right. And um, I will be back on YouTube. This is the final main show to answer, to answer who asked that question. To answer that question that somebody put in the chat about me, you'll just have to wait and see. You better, you better not get uh, jobbed out to the Dark Order. If you join the Dark Order, uh, <laughs> wait, what was the question? I, uh, I, I can't repeat it. But anyway, oh, was Baron, Baron um, going to a, a, AEW, bruh? I'm just bruh, kidding. bruh, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up. All I'm gonna say is that y'all gonna love my new. T- I got two sets of gears coming. One of them is Fire Emblem based. Ooh. Okay, so let's go. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let y'all figure out which character it is. But okay, it's I gonna think be I know really what it's dumb. gonna be. I think I know. <laughs> base. Ike. It's gotta be like, Ike. I feel I'm like not, I'm, not, I'm not telling you. I'm not telling it's you. It's gotta be Ike. It's got. You imagine it's sharp and everything. Yeah, like, it's wow. gotta be Ike. I hope it's Ike, dude. That'd be dope if it was Ike. <laughs> so what? Yeah. <coughs> one is Fire Emblem based, one is Soul Caliber based. So oh, nobody cares about Soul Caliber based. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> whoa, 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 How, whoa, 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 well, first of all, you shut your ugly mouth right now. Second of all, <laughs> you're okay. Samurai Showdown is way better, and we all know. I don't know if Samurai Showdown is way better. From what I've seen, Samurai <laughs> Showdown is not better than so Get the way hell out of here. The way more memorable. You got Kamaru. You got Charlotte, who's my main. Like, come on, guys. You BC sit your ass. You shut your fucking mouth right now. All that, I, could, I could pick up Soul Calibur day one and probably smack you, Abaddon. Where your money at? <coughs> if, if I picked up the game day one, I'd quite smack it. Where's your money Immediate. at? I've only had to pick the main. I want to. I'll go to training mode with anything on random. I say we. I say we stream this. That's what I say we do. <laughs> What's up? What's really good? I say What's we really do good. Abaddon versus <laughs> Abaddon versus. Uh, What's BC? really good? I, I need to get SoCal first stuff. That's the thing. All What's right. really good? Because guess because literally um, no, I would be down. I just need to get it first, and I have to also get. Uh, so you so you so, so, so you I said, am down. Yes. So so you said any or character on random. If I were to pick a character on random and then test them out, then no 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 no. That's, that's what I said. Soul Caliber four. Is, I said, if you Soul, Soul back, Caliber four is is twenty bucks right now. Soul Caliber four. Twenty. That's it. We'll do Soul Caliber six. I'll pick that. We'll Soul, Soul, Soul Caliber six is forty dollars. Six. Soul Caliber six is twenty dollars. It's twenty bucks. Oh, it's on it's on sale for twenty. So you get it on PS4. It's just cheap. It's just old and cheap. Yeah, on on PS4. Yeah, PS4 then. PS4. All right, cool. All right, cool. So I'll copy. I'll copy next on, on my next paycheck. What's the What's you, the money match? Wait, though? time out. Time out. You don't have the game. No, I I play Soul Caliber. I have Soul. I used to play Soul Caliber three. I played Soul. I played it on the Dreamcast as well. Um, Soul Edge. As well, I've been playing Soul Calibur oh, for a I, while. I, I had every. See, Soul I thought you already oh. had the game, and I was gonna face you, and you already played. That changes the whole yeah, thing. Kind of, you, yeah, you're right. You know, you still, you still get beat because I, I know how, to, I know the dynamics of Soul Calibur. Yeah, but it, 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 but it changes the whole thing because yeah. because we thought that you had already been playing, and then BC would be a newcomer and never played it, and then coming. Yeah. No, he never, he never played Soul Calibur. I played the Soul Calibur series I've, before. I played Soul Calibur before. I played it back in the day when I was on Xbox with Yoda. Okay, okay, so so, so, you, so, so you do have four, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you do have you do have. I haven't played since. Okay, I thought it was. Yeah, gonna be something, I, I thought it was gonna be something hype, but yeah, yeah I played. I played Soul Calibur. That was the last time I played Soul Calibur Four when I was on PS4. So they had Darth Vader, and yeah. um, I was um, I won't tell you my mains. This uh, you just get whooped. <laughs> we'll see. You just, we'll see. Yeah. You just get whooped. Uh, hey, if it's twenty yeah. bucks, we can at least both try for fun. But there's no reason to stream it. Yeah, no <laughs> it would have been fun if yeah, it was like no we were like, yeah, you still get it. Or it comes out with a surprise victory. No, That's I'm sure happen. you don't. You, listen, you don't got to stream. I'll, I'll record it. It said this is VC getting his behind whooped. 
talking all well, that smack. You guys, you guys deal with that. Hey, hey, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. We're back on YouTube Appreciate next week for the PE Podcast. Sunday, I've got a big live stream that I'm doing on Sunday. We're going to be having cool type, all types of stuff going on and all sorts of fun. So make sure you guys follow me on YouTube because uh, the mainstream is going back there. And all, all these people that you guys see here in the chat, if you guys came over on Twitch during our band, they're all going to be on YouTube. So if you want to have a lit chat and everything, it's going to be back on YouTube this Sunday. This Sunday, I get my streaming capabilities back, and I hope I never lose them again, because that was the most painful three months of not streaming on YouTube ever. Like, I've never been banned for that long. So I'm back on YouTube, so make sure you guys follow me on YouTube. Uh, subscribe to me there. Um, I'll, I'll put a link uh, as well for those who are just on Twitch, because we've had a lot of new Twitch people, you know, um, come through. So uh, I'll put a link in the chat. So thank you guys so much for watching tonight. Um, we ha we'll have streaming tomorrow as well. I'll be playing Fantasy Star online not on youtube yet but it'll be on twitch so fantasy star um will be tomorrow so hopefully you guys come out for that um here's my channel so you guys can subscribe there also shout outs to uh Cathal thomas thank you for the subscription and uh yeah that's it guys thank you guys so much for watching um and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow for more streaming and more content on player essence bye see ya star fox reimagined 20 2020 baby Vanquish. <laughs> Vanquish. That would be dope. <laughs> but but dead ass though, Avadon.